Hi guys. New piece in meta. Evil piece in oi. <gasps> Monka. Hi Tooth, welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Also, this I feel like the game audio is like a decent level. I kind of want the game to be like as loud as me. Guys, this is a piece in first on the channel. Super auto pets. Is music from the game? Yeah. It's like the loading screen music, so like it's slightly softer. But like, I did a test offline and it should be fine. Auto pets like Paw Patrol? I don't get why everybody's obsessed with the Paw Patrol. I don't get it. Also, I think the ad should be over. Also guys, for the month of August, I'm literally $1 away from my Twitch payout, so can we get like 200 bits today, please? <laughs> please! <laughs> nah, it's okay. <laughs> Face cam on in 45 seconds? This is not a drill. Who's ready for a marathon stream today? Stream ends when I beat Super Auto Pets. Three, two, one. Let's see if the base cam works. Oh my god, it does. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well today. It is 10.30 exactly on Wednesday, July 31st, the last day of July. Guys, hope you're doing well. What did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I made dinner. Oh my god, stream yesterday was crazy. I, I like, I feel so bad because the Elite Four fight took <laughs> three hours. <laughs> It took three hours! I walked back like the first like 10 minutes of the VOD because I wanted to see like if the intro was good to see if I had to re-record it. It was good. But I said at the start, I was like, this will take me like max an hour. I think I said smash cut to where it takes me four hours. But yeah, so that was yesterday. Guys, the peace lock is finally over. We're never playing Pokemon again. Love the blouse. Thank you. I like this one a lot. Most of the shit I have and wear is thrifted. So like, I don't know what brands I'm wearing. Don't feel bad. It was a hoot watching someone learn Pokemon. Thank you, Ryan. Can we get some yos? Also, we had Tooth and the starting soon screen. Welcome in. You know, <laughs> I said this yesterday, but like, I personally hate watching new people play a game because I, I get so angry. Because if I like a game, then I will learn as much as I can about it for the most part. But if I don't give a shit about the game, I don't care if people mess up or don't play good. Like, if I watch Mario Kart streams and they aren't tricking, it legitimately triggers me and I have to click off. That's just me. I'm a hypocrite. I'll say it. But like, if I am watching a stream and they don't know how to play, I don't like... How do I hide this? Sorry, I had to fix my OBS this morning. But like, I don't backseat game in chat. I just type lol or not like this in the chat if they mess up. Because I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Okay, guys. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I just made dinner. And then this morning, I went for my walk. I also biked last night. Oh, also, the new calligraphy camera that's like right here. We're not going to have it next week for the next two weeks. Because my roommate is going on a trip and he might want to borrow it. But the problem is, oh my god, look at my hair. Look at this one. Cute. Um, he might want to borrow the camera, but he has to he has to learn how to use it. He's never used a DSLR. And I was saying, I was like, you know, a DSLR is nice, but like, you can't be handing it off to people. It's probably not good for family pictures, and like, unless you know how to use it. And honestly, an iPhone camera is pretty good on its own. And you know, he's got the newest iPhone, I think. I don't know, he's got money. Yeah, so next week we might not have the camera, but we'll have it for the subathon. Oh my god, tomorrow's the subathon, guys! 
my three year stream anniversary is Friday, but we're doing the subathon starting tomorrow, and I. Oh, my knee. You know what? Since we're at the start of stream, I'll do a little leak. So. Wait, my camera's flipped. Just pretend it's the right way. So. I think the first year we had a poster, the next year. I think I made another poster, but this year. It's flipped. It's. <laughs> It's a birthday card for a three-year-old. <laughs> so everybody who watches the stream and donates will get their name written in the card. That way when I'm big and famous, we can look back on the good old days. And I also got a sticker pack. So if you donate, you get a sticker in the card. Screenshot your NFT, guys. Look at that. Yeah, so this is for tomorrow. And I'm gonna be prepping for the Subathon tomorrow, or tonight, imagine. So, if you have any more last minute ideas for suggestions, or if you want your picture drawn on stream for the Ink India portraits, make sure you reply to the Twitter post I made the other day. I think it's in the pin chat. Yeah, it's on my Twitter page. It's like the most recent tweets on there. I better not see that card on eBay with all our names on it. Nah, I don't, I don't think there's a huge market for peace and memorabilia. Type one if you'd buy the card. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So the, subathon, the subathon starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST, so around this time tomorrow. And it has a 30 hour cap, so that means it can either end at 3 hours if we get do donos, or it can end latest Friday 4 p.m. my time. So we'll see what happens. I do have like a date with my sugar mama on Friday night. That's why it cannot go longer than 4 p.m. <laughs> just saying, just saying. <laughs> We're gonna go out and get caviar. No, I'm kidding. My friends are coming in from out of town. I think it's so much funnier to refer to my friends as sugar mamas or sugar daddies. Cause let's be honest, that's what they are. I'm a brokey. When we go out, I'm just like, you're paying, right? <laughs> They're basically that to me. Okay, anything else? I can't think so. I can't think of anything really. But since today is the last day of July, if anybody wants to get a custom portrait sketch card, you have to get five subs by the end of day today, but honestly, I'd wait till tomorrow. That way your, your subs have more value. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Anybody who gives five subs total by the end of any month gets a custom card. I think we haven't done that in like two months, but that's okay. Boys, are we ready? So, we'll do our intro later. Has anybody played Super Auto Pets Type 1 in chat? I don't- I personally did not start playing till about like two and a half weeks ago. I only have like 20 hours in the game. But, I am addicted. <laughs> so today is kind of like one of those stream ends when I'm blank concepts but I don't know how many people play this game so I'll do one game at the very start of stream just to like explain the rules and then we'll do the intro no I don't know about Paw Patrol I've never watched it I think it was past my time but everybody like wants to play Paw Patrol and no I'm not gonna play it okay guys New overlay. Also, I'm playing on PC. This is not the mobile. Hashtag not an ad. This is not an ad. Super Auto Pets has been out for a few years now. It's a auto battler, kind of like a card building game. I honestly don't like card games, but I love this game. <laughs> um, there's different game modes. So for today's challenge, we'll do one practice round that will not count. Um, you can do versus one-on-one -on -one or in a lobby. You can play with friends. Wait, I have to block friend requests. I think I did that already. Uh, settings, privacy. Oh, I, I guess you can't send friend requests. W. So you don't like Mario Kart? No, I love Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, there I don't think people can send friend requests. I think we're fine. Okay. So when you go to play, 
Oh wait, let me explain. So, today I'm gonna be playing with the normal turtle pack. This game is free to play, but you can buy different packs. The packs basically have different types of animals, and every type of animal has a different perk. And you can upgrade the animal, kind of like how when you're playing Magic the Gathering, the more cards you have stacked on top of each other, the more powerful it is. So, for every turn, you can choose from three to five different pet cards, and they can choose between one to three different item cards. And every few turns, as you can see here, different types of pets are unlocked. So, every single pack has different animals in it. And there's also... This is the weekly pack. I don't usually do the weeklies unless, like, I've had my fix of the normal base pack. I'm kind of, like, getting hooked to the wacky pack. I finally got a win on the wacky pack yesterday. Is this an NFT game? They should make it an NFT game. And no, I will not support NFTs. <laughs> So, yeah, that's basically it. Let's do one practice round just to explain the rules a little bit because with my settings, I have faster text, so it can get kind of confusing if you don't know the perks, but that's why we'll do a practice game. So I usually do arena, regular turtle pack. You can choose different settings of difficulty, extra where you get extra lives, normal is just normal, so normal pets, normal snacks, and then hard is where you get a toy so it's like a random food card essentially we're doing normal and then the nor normal base turtle pack which is free so you queue up so when you start for the first few rounds for rounds one through two i think you can choose up to three different pets and one food now i'll explain more strategies as i actually do the run and attempt today but my strat usually for the first two to three rounds is get pets that give me perks for later on. So when you hover your cursor over the pet or snack, it tells you the perk. So if you play a cricket, if it dies, it summons another cricket. I'll say this now, I hate summon builds. But I usually will go with duck first because if you sell it, any pets that you can choose from in the future for that turn will get plus one health. The apple gives your pets one attack and one heart. So the icons below, this is your attack power and that's your health power. If you don't like any of the options down here, you can choose to re-roll for one coin. Oh, this is so much. <laughs> Sorry, this is like a little smash course if you've never played this. So for every single turn, you get 10 coins. So it's in your best interest to use all your coins, either buying more animals or more snacks. And then, let's say for example, because I have four coins left. If you want to re-roll, but you want to save any of your animals or snacks when you're rolling, you click on it and freeze it. So when you freeze it, because honestly I don't want to crick it, but I kind of want to keep that apple. If you re-roll for one coin, if you freeze an item, it stays when you re-roll. And no matter how many times you reroll, as long as the item is frozen, it stays frozen. It's kind of cool if you're trying to like save a specific food item for a specific pet that you're waiting for. So honestly, let's see, I got another Cricket L. Mosquito start a battle deal one rock damage to random enemy. I like, I personally love offensive builds. Since this is the normal game mode, I'm gonna keep, no, I don't think, no, I'll, I'll keep the apple for now. I usually like the honey. But, and since this is a card game, the order of your team matters. So different pets have different perks. They usually, the first few rounds, the pets, are, the pets are super weak. But once you get to like mid and late game, the formation matters a lot more. So since the duck has a cell perk, he has no perks in battle. But mosquito start a battle deal one rock damage to one random enemy. So his formation doesn't matter. So also... If you click and drag, you can stack a pet. I'm not going to do that now. But when you stack a pet, the one you stack on top of gains one additional attack and health. And if we look at the bar right here, it's like divided into two. So in order for the pet to level up, it needs you need to stack two on top of it. Next level is three, and then so on. So for this formation, 
In the very beginning, I like to put the pets that have the greatest amount of hearts in the front and least in the back. So, three, three, two. I'm going to keep the Alpha Frozen because I might want that next turn. Turn is over. It's not timed for this game mode. There are timed game modes when you do enter like an arena or 1v1s. In turn. For every single match, you can choose a name. Let's see. Moist Bananas. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so let me pause. These icons up here you can change if you want to click for each animal to attack. Auto plays if it just auto plays. Fast is the speed in which the animations happen. So if you don't know what a pet does, if you move your cursor on top of it, it tells you what the perk of it. And if you're doing regular mode, oh wait. How do I do how do I do slow mode? I forgot. Okay, I lost. It's a draw. So the goal is... The goal is to get 10 wins. You can see the trophies along the top. And then for normal game mode, you get 5 hearts. If you're doing easy mode, you get 7. So if, if it ends in a draw, nobody lose health. So your main objective is to get 10 wins, and if anything, get a draw. Turn is over. We're now on turn 2. Still have 5 hearts, and it reset at 10 coins. We'll do 3 rounds, and then we'll actually start the run. Ask me if I got anything you said. Don't worry, when I actually start playing, I will vocalize and explain all my decisions. This is just like a little crash course. Let's see, I got 10 coins. Honestly, I like getting the pigeons at the very start because when you sell it, the perk is you get one free breadcrumb. I'm gonna unfreeze the apple because I don't need that this turn. Because I know with this pack, on turn three, the food type items are a lot better than the apples. So I don't want to freeze the apple for this turn and then waste a slot later. Um, I'm actually I'm gonna give the apple to the mosquito because once you have all five of your animal slots filled, in order to add another animal, you have to sell it. Like if you click and drag, you sell it, you get one coin back. I'm gonna keep this as is. Unfreeze the pigeon because. The third turn, there's a lot of different animals that spawn. So when you're doing normal speed, it'll say the perk of the pet when it does it if it has an active battle perk. Okay, draw! Huge! I'll take it. Once you get to turn three, Tier 2 pets are unlocked, and then also, it'll give you a free extra heart if you lost a heart in the first two turns. Because let's be honest, first two turns suck. So, that's basically it. That's the basics. So now, I'm gonna abandon this. And like, actually start the run. Do we understand? <laughs> it'll make more sense once I actually start playing. I know I didn't understand this game for the longest time until I started playing it. Okay, also chat is here. Wait, where is chat? Oh, there it is. It's like Pokemon, but with real animals? Kinda, because this game, even though it's a, it's, it's a card game, and I didn't understand card games, and I avoided card games for the longest time because I knew I would get addicted instantly. I knew. Okay, in classic piece and style, we do have an attempt counter and a live split. I got it on screen today. My goal is to beat this in two hours. Now, guys, now that we have our we have a basic understanding, YouTube intro. You know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. Intro time. Okay. I've seen so many of the big boy streamers play super auto pets, and you know what? I finally decided to try it. I've been watching Ellen, Ellen, fuck, it's NL. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of old NL clips and a sim just talking over sap gameplay. So today I'm gonna give it a try. I downloaded the game about two and a half weeks ago. I have about 20 hours in it. And out of all the game modes, I think I've gotten four normal wins and three easy mode wins. So you know what? I think I have developed a strat. So today, I'm going to be streaming until I beat Super Auto Pets 
and get 10 trophies in the normal difficulty mode. If you've never played this game, it's an auto battler, but it plays like a normal card game. It's pretty interesting. I've honestly avoided cards games for the longest time because I knew I'd get addicted. And I'll be honest, I play SAP like one to two hours every morning now. It's so bad. <laughs> Normally in the morning I edit, but now I just play super auto bits. But I only allow myself to play it in the morning. It's my little like treat in the morning. Hi Vic, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Is there anything else I need to say at the intro? Okay. My goal today is to beat it within five attempts, which takes about two hours. Each attempt, depending on how far you go, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's a good game to like pass by time. I'm not sponsored to say this, but it's free to play on Steam and mobile devices. But there is like skins you can buy, different packs you can buy. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with all the free assets in the game. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get started. Put your guesses in chat. How long do you think this will take? Do you guys think this will be a subathon? Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Prediction? Nah, I don't want to do a prediction. I'm gonna get bored of that shit. Okay. At least two minutes? Imagine I beat this on the first try. Do you guys think? I did warm up for an hour earlier, but I played the weekly pack. I didn't play the base pack. Also, they updated some of the animals to make them less OP, and I'm so angry. I I love the hippo build, but they changed it. Also, I don't know like the current meta. I don't watch sap content besides NL clips. So I don't know what the meta is, but I have a build that I think works fairly well for me. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna do regular arena mode, turtle pack, normal difficulty, and they're all gonna have the same pack. I don't like mixing packs. And we're in. Okay, to start, I usually prefer to get pets that give me perks later on in game. I personally hate summon builds. If you're a summon build, I hate you. So let's get the duck and the mosquito. The honey perk is kind of nice because if the pet faints, it'll spawn a bee. So that's kind of cool. I'll freeze that. Reroll. Ooh. Okay, I think my favorite pet to get in the first few turns is the beaver. Because the perk the beaver have is when you sell it, it gives two random friends in your team plus one attack. So what I usually do is I load up my team with beavers because it does have three attack, two health. So that's like a decent base stat for like the first three turns is I will fill my team with beavers and then whenever the tier two pet starts spawning I'll add the tier two to the team and then get rid of the beavers that way whenever I sell the beaver they get more perks I'm gonna unfreeze the honey no I'll keep it because I might want it next turn freezing the beaver for sure turn ended Ooh. metal does bunnies I don't want to put sacks in the title W. So I won since I had a pet remaining. Getting a victory in the first two rounds doesn't really matter. But it's still like a good ego boost. Okay, let's see. Definitely bring in the beaver. I still have seven coins left. I'm going to freeze the pigeon because the perk of the pigeon is you get one free breadcrumb, which is plus one attack whenever you do sell it. So I'm going to freeze it. Six coins remaining. So that means I can buy two things because things typically cost three coins in the store. Otter perk, lame. Mosquito perk is kind of nice, but I already have a mosquito on my team. I don't really need it. I'm going to get the pigeon and the honey. Because going from turn two to turn three, I typically try to not have items frozen because that's when you get, on turn three, you can get a chance to get tier two and tier, tier two pets and tier two food. Is this a roguelike? No, I don't think so. I, I don't really know what a roguelike is like. You know, it's it's a card game, I think is a better analogy. Who do I want to give the honey perk to? So whenever you give a pet food, it has that perk for the rest of the game, essentially. And you can always replace the food perk with one in the future. So ideally, you want to give perks now to a pet you think 
you will keep later on. If you lose a game, you lose it all. Oh yeah, if you die, you reset and you start again. Yeah, it's a, it's a card roguelike, I guess, then. Let's see. So I'm definitely gonna sell the duck at some point, definitely gonna sell the pigeon. I might keep the mosquito, but in all honesty, I'm probably gonna keep the beavers for the longest amount of time. Let's see. Bring the beavers up. That way, three, two, two, one. And turn. I'm gonna do the, no the normal game speed, and then I'm gonna turn on fast mode for attempt number two if I even need attempt number two. Which, let's be honest, I won't. Guys, short stream! Short video. Uh oh. No! Okay, him having summon crickets is such a hack. Minus one. Okay, that's one heart loss. That's okay. You have reached turn three. Tier two pets unlocked. Okay, the best pets in this tier is the peacock, worm, and kangaroo. Those are my go tos. Oh, also, swan is pretty good. Since I lost a heart in the first two turns, I gained one back. This is the only time you get a heart later at all in the game. Also, I forgot to do the intro at the start. So guys, if you want to actually play games live, you can follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, there we go. I did the intro. <laughs> and showed us the peace love. Shut up! I literally beat it yesterday and you didn't watch the stream, Vic. Also, I didn't respond to your chat the other day, but you said you bought a Game Boy, right? Now you kind of know what Pokemon is. Now you like feel my pain. Okay, we're back in. So, a strat I'm gonna do, freeze the apple, freeze the kangaroo, re-roll. 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 Ooh, swan is also good. So I'm basically re-rolling. Another kangaroo, huge. I'm re-rolling till I get the pets that I want. Cause I found buying random pets just to fill the space, if you don't like the perks, is dumb. It's best to keep rolling until you get your desired pets and yes it'll it'll take a while to like figure out what build you like but i personally love an offensive build full attack so now i have six coins i've rolled to get the pets that i want so since i have three pets frozen the smartest thing to do here is to sell the duck because the perk is to give all the shop pets plus one health huge and since i sold it i'm up one coin so i have to think about what i'm gonna do the next turn Selling the pigeon as well to get the breadcrumb. So now I have two slots open. I'm gonna buy the swan. The swan perk is next turn. From that point on, at the start of the turn, you get one coin, which is huge. The more money you have, the more rerolls and the more potential pets and snacks you can get in future turns. I personally will keep a swan until the very end, until I have all my pets like fully as maxed out health and attack wise. So I will keep the swan. And then obviously kangaroo. The kangaroo perk is whenever the friend ahead ta attacks, gain plus one attack and plus one health. So that means you should never put your kangaroo in the front. So what is pretty smart to do with the kangaroo is to place a pet that has a summon perk or ability snack. Because when the beaver dies, it'll spawn a honey. Or since the beaver has honey, it'll spawn an additional bee. So every time the beaver attacks, this kangaroo will gain plus one attack, plus one health. And then every time the bee attacks, it'll also gain plus one attack and plus one health. So let's see. Rearranging my team to have higher health in the front. I'll give the breadcrumb to kangaroo because I'm going to keep that guy a while. Freezing the kangaroo still, freezing the apple still because I'll need the next turn. Rerolling. Ooh, a worm this early on is huge! Okay, the worm perk. At the start of turn, stock one, two gold apple. Meaning, whenever it's on the team in the item shop right here in the bottom, it will add an additional apple that is worth plus one attack, plus one health for only two coins, so it's discounted. Huge. I don't like the snail, it's dumb. Hedgehog is dumb. It deals two damage to all pets. Yeah, it dies, and then it's going to take everybody down with it. End turn. If I don't win, I'm going to be very sad. I 
ideally by the time you get to turn three, you should have a full team of five. So see how with the B attack, I still gain plus one. Basically, it's really hard to get the pets that you truly want in the beginning. So you just have to make sure you have assets that will help build your team later on. Okay, L. First L. Sad. Or I guess second L. Let's see. I don't need the mosquito. Swapping in for a worm. I got nine coins left. That means I can buy two more. I'm for sure going to use the apple this turn because that way I can re to maybe get a different snack. Still keeping the kangaroo frozen. I will typically keep animals of the same type that I have my team frozen until I can afford to buy multiple to level up. Because in order to level up from level one to level two pet, you need to add and stack two pets on top of it. So the moment I have two kangaroos frozen, I'll buy both. I don't need another beaver. Mosquitoes L. Honey, I personally don't like using my coins early on to get food items for like summons. I'd rather get food items that give me more health or attack power because I'd honestly keep re-rolling to get the pets that I want. Ooh, okay. Huge. I think what I want to do is because... In early game, you for me, I personally like prioritizing getting money and then health early on. So the worm will give me more health. The swan will give me more money. So I think I'm going to sell the beaver. He gave the swan and the worm plus attack, which are two that I'm going to keep anyway. So that's good. The RNG was good there. I'm going to buy the swan. That way next turn, since I have two swans, I'll get two additional gold. Reroll. Ooh, the peacock! Huge! This early on is huge, actually. Freezing the peacock because I don't have any more coins to reroll. Freezing the kangaroo because I can buy all three of these next turn. That means the next turn, since I have all my animal slots frozen, I probably will not get any new animals, but I might get a new snack to buy. Okay, let's see. Yes, I think still keeping the kangaroo in the front with the beaver because the beaver has a summon. It'll be good. End turn. This game is interesting. No, it's really addicting. It's free to play, not sponsored, but I like it a lot. It's like a good difficulty of strategy and also like just passively playing something. What is nice if you're first playing, if you're doing the regular speed mode, it tells you every perk that the pet uses that little text box pop up. Okay. <laughs> the only problem with my strat of prioritizing getting the pet I want versus items is I take a lot of losses in the very, like in the first 10 turns, I lose like three times. But I'd rather save up to get the pets I truly want. If each turn five, tier three pets unlocked. And every tier upgrade, an additional slot is added. So now I can get up to four pets to choose from and then up to two foods to choose from. Something that is huge. Notice how the worms spawn the apple I technically now have three different snacks to choose from. The worm spawning the apple does not take away the probability of the two additional snacks you would get the next turn. So if you had three worms on your team, you would still get two random items and then three apples. Having a team that has three worms is insane. I've done it and I love it. Okay, let's see. Now that I have the peacock on my team, I'm going to sell the beaver because I'm planning on keeping most of these pets anyway. Buying the peacock? Huge. So the peacock perk is every time it's hurt or hit in game, it gains plus three attack. So the strat with the peacock is to give it ample health. That way it can take more hits and then its attack keeps increasing. It's kind of like it's running on adrenaline. I see it as. Also, guys... We are 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button, you get cool emotes, and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So follow right now, and I'll say thank you. Oh, wait, I forgot to say this at the top of stream. But guys, today's stream is presented to you by, oh my god, peace and art on myshopify.com, new prints available, guys. 
Click the link in chat. Go bookmark the website. Also, if you're a current Twitch subscriber, you get an exclusive discount. If you want the discount code, just tell me and I'll give it to you. W. Get back to work. I need to get better about plugging. <laughs> so now I have eight coins left. That means at most I can afford two different items. I don't want the beaver anymore. I'm going to keep the kangaroos frozen. Ooh. Cupcake, give one pet... Plus three attack and plus three health for only this turn. Or salad bowl. Give two random pets plus one attack and plus one health. I'm going to freeze the salad bowl. The cupcake is nice, but you don't really need it for early game. I personally will only buy the cupcake for like maybe turn seven to turn 15. Because right now, everybody else's pets are also going to be weak. So it's better to increase their base stat, not their temporary stats. So I froze the salad. Kangaroo is still frozen. I don't like the crab or the hedgehog. Ooh, another salad bowl? Ooh. I have six coins left. That means I should no longer re-roll since I have multiple things frozen so that I do want to buy at some point. So I'm going to buy one salad. Of course it went to the swans. That's so annoying. And then I'll buy one... No, 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 no. I'll buy one kangaroo because I assume in the next one or two turns the pet tier will increase. I have no coins left. I don't want the rat. I don't want the cricket. And turn. This guy's build is crazy. I see this all the time. The elephant, after every time it attacks, deal one damage to the nearest friend behind. And since the friend behind is the peacock, watch this. Every time the elephant attacks and the peacock is behind it, the peacock will gain plus three attack. I usually don't do that combo, but it's so OP. Like, if you make both your elephant and peacock super tanky, like, it's basically an unstoppable combo. Draw, I'll take it. Ooh, another worm! Hmm... I'm gonna combine my swans. Okay, I'm gonna combine my swans. There we go. So since I stacked it, with the base swan gained plus one attack, plus one heart, and it's halfway towards leveling up. I'm gonna purchase another worm. That way from this turn on, I will have two apples spawn in the store. What I like to do and get in the habit of is just freezing items that I want just to like visually see what I wanna keep as I play. So right now I have nine coins. I don't really want to re-roll because I have three items that I want to redeem. So, salad. Okay, that's huge. So this apple is worth two coins. So my strat is usually making my first Pokemon- I keep on saying Pokemon when I play this. My first pet super strong. Since I have one coin left since I sold something, let's re-roll. Ooh, another swan is kind of good. Another salad is good. The garlic perk is good, but I'd rather get a food that gives me an attack boost or a health boost. This garlic will make me take less damage, but I don't prefer it as much anymore. The sheep is nice because when it dies, it summons two 2-2 two, two rams. But that'll only really work if you have the sheep in like either the third position back. Because if you put the sheep at the very start... It'll despawn one of the sheeps you summon. Let's see. I'm debating on who I want to... Because since I have a swan and kangaroo I can buy right now, I can level up either. Because when you level up your pets that you stack on top of each other, their perks are, like, multiplied, basically. Since this is still early game... I'm going to upgrade my swan first because I'm going to need more money in future turns. So now the swan is leveled up. So at the start of every turn, instead of one gold, I now get two. And every time you level up a pet, you get two special pets of the future tiers upcoming. I personally don't like the whale and I don't like the squirrel. The squirrel does discount all items, but he doesn't have ample attack or health to justify buying him at this point. And you can still freeze these pets, but you can only freeze one at a time. Or sorry, you, yeah, you can only freeze one and buy one of these two. But I don't like either, so it doesn't matter. 
If I have a build I like, I will do everything in my power to get the pets that I want. Even if the ones that spawn every turn are decent, if I don't get my desired pet, I'm not buying anything. Ooh! The rabbit is so good. Whenever a friendly eats food, it gives them an additional permanent plus one health. The rabbit is insane. The peacock kangaroo combo is really effective in late game. Like whenever you have like 10 to 15 base health, you can basically just keep fighting with them and take out somebody's entire team. You've reached turn 7, tier 4 pets unlocked. Now? Ooh, okay, my favorite pets are the hippo is so overpowered and the deer. The other ones are okay. So now that I have two worms, I now have two additional apples, and I got two extra coins from the swan. Let's see, I think I want to upgrade the kangaroo this turn, that way I have a full- <gasps> I have a full four slots for random pets. Now, the scorpion is huge. Let me explain. So whenever the scorpion is summoned, so whenever you add it to your team, it gains the peanut perk. The peanut knocks out any pet attacked and hurt by this scorpion. So, what people will do, and I'm a victim of this too, is they will put their strongest pet in the very front. I want to keep this one, I want to keep the worm, we're going to combine the worm, that way I have another additional slot. What people will do is they'll put their strongest pet in the very front. So if somebody has like a 15-15 pet, all I have to do is put the scorpion to the front and then it kills it in one hit. It's so OP. And not a lot of people do scorpion builds. I know if I see a scorpion, I get scared out of my boots. I'd be shaking. Pokemon, if it were good. You know what I'll say? I never played the Pokemon games because it was too difficult. Do they have digital Pokemon games? Like trading card games? Or is it all like physical? Also... Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, I'm locked in. Now that I have a scorpion, the only other pets that I kind of want in the future is the hippo. Yeah, I only really want the hippo at this point, so I don't want to reroll because I have a bunch of items that I can purchase. Personally, you don't really need to increase the health of the scorpion because either way, it's going to KO the first opponent's pet. But a strat you can do is drastically increase the health of the scorpion like let's say the scorpion has 10 health and the first pet it faces only to six attack that means the scorpion will still live so the scorpion if you bump it up it's like health stats it could potentially knock out two pets and before it dies there is a digital pokemon tcg should we do it type one okay so right now it's turn 7. Opponents aren't going to typically have too high health. So... I think one apple to the scorpion. Why not? Freeze this apple. Reroll one more time. No good pets. Okay, that's fine. Now, should I get a salad? Give two random pets plus one. I think that's better for this turn. That way, at least everybody's buffed up a little bit. Because, obviously, the scorpion's gonna die. End turn. <clears throat> Watch this. Watch the scorpion go. Okay, that kind of sucks. But see, the scorpion took it out in one hit. might be fine the shark is really scary to see because the shark's perk is every time a friend faints gain plus two attack plus two health you typically will see sharks in summon builds so if you have pets in front of the shark that have a summon that means even when your summon dies the shark gains perks that's why summon builds are really scary sometimes oh no i'm gonna lose 
stupid summon builds. I hate summon builds. It's so hacky. Just play with the soldiers you have. I just spat on my monitor. They shut down the digital TCG last June. Awkward. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. The hippo is insane. Because every time the hippo knocks out an opponent, it gains plus three attack and plus three health. Works three times in battle. They updated this last week, but before, it would do this infinitely. So if your hippo went against the summon build where it had like eight to ten pets, it would gain 24 attack and up to 24 health if it knocked out every single opponent. So honestly, hippo builds are still good, but they're not as OP because it only works three times for battle. So that means at most, the hippo could gain plus nine attack and plus three health. Oh, okay. Who should I swap out? I still think getting the apples for a discounted price is more valuable than the swan. So guys, peace out to seven swan, we're selling her. Hippo, you're in. Now, this is when formation like actually starts mattering. Actually starts to matter, not mattering. <laughs> so let's see, every time the hippo gets a knockout. So typically I will put the hippo in front of the kangaroo. And then later on, whenever the hippo has more base health than the peacock, I'll go like this. That way, as long as the scorpion is still in the front, he will at least take out the first opponent, which is usually where people put their strongest pet. Yeah, so this formation for now is the best. Because scorpion will take out the first opponent basically no matter what. Peacock is my, my strongest right now, is 6 attack, 9 health. Hippo is decent, strength. But it's just because I put it in. If you get really lucky and you get a hippo on like turn 6, that's like really lucky RNG. Okay, I have 11 coins left. Buying the additional hippo to give it additional health. I usually try to get my hippo to at least 10 health. And then I will put it in the front of the peacock. Let's see. I'm going to freeze the apples. <gasps> Oh, the deer is so good, too. Okay, the deer. Whenever the deer dies, it summons a 1, 5 out of 5 bus with chili. The chili food attacks the second enemy for 5 damage. Oh, I, I really like the deer, too. I'm freezing the deer. I'm not going to redeem it now. Whenever I get rid of the worm, I'll add the deer to the team. Basically, right now, this is my dream team. Like, not even kidding, this is my build. I've gotten a win twice with this exact build, I believe. Okay, I got seven coins left. Let's re-roll. Six coins left. Okay, no good pets. I'm going to buy both of these apples. And give one to the hippo. And one to the scorpion. I want to keep gradually adding health to the scorpion. That way by like turn 12, he'll have like seven health. And then possibly the scorpion can survive a hit and take out two opponents. Oh no, he has a chili! <laughs> so, the chili, it did 5 damage to the peacock, unfortunately. Even though the scorpion took it out. Oh, huge! The hippo got a knockout, it's gonna gain plus 3, plus 3. Grr, summon builds! Look how OP the hippo is! Whenever I get the base hippo health to 10, she'll be unstoppable. Guys, it's over. Wait, I only have one health left! No! <laughs> no! You reach turn 9. Tier 5 pets are unlocked. Okay, my favorite pets in this tier, Scorpion, obviously. The monkey is pretty good, too. <gasps> oh my god, chili! Okay. The chili food is so good. So what you do... Attack the second enemy for five damage. I'm gonna give the chili to the hippo because the hippo will live the longest. So now that every time a pet attacks when it has the chili, it will do damage to the first pet it hits and then the pet behind it. 
So usually I will give everybody in my team chilies, except for the guy in the back bank. Let's see, I got seven left. Freezing this apple. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Buying the peacock, keeping the apple frozen, reroll. Nothing good. Dog is good for summon builds. So is the rat, so is the horse. Pigeon, you don't need it in late game. End turn. This is this could be the last turn. Uh oh. <laughs> I might win this. Their strongest pet is the whale with 15 health. Oh, he just gave it the melon burk. That sucks. Oh wait, I might be able to win this. Oh wait, huge? Draw, I'll take a draw. No! Game over, turn nine. That's fine. So this right here is my dream team. If we have an attempt, where I get the hippo basically right away, it's an insta win. But this right here, screenshot, this is my dream team for a, a pure offensive build. And then whenever I have everybody upgraded besides the worm, I will I, then I get the, the deer that has the chili bus. There we go. So that was my first attempt. That took 30 minutes. So from here on on, I'm not gonna fully explain everything super slowly. I'm just I'm just gonna like speed run. Also, hi Emmy, welcome in. Guys, attempt number two. And yes, the hotkey is the letter Z. Okay, new game. Ooh, bad starting RNG. Okay, I'm, I don't want to do summon build, so I do not want the horse. Otter is dumb. <sighs> I don't like any of these pets. Freeze the honey, reroll. Purchasing the pig, because when you sell it, you get one gold back. Purchasing the ant. And then purchasing the pigeon. This formation is good. Two health, one health, one health, and then pig is stronger than the pigeon. The good thing about the ant getting it early on is whenever the ant faints, it gives one random friend plus one attack and plus one health. So that's why you make sure if you put the ant in the backpack, when it dies, it has nobody to give the health to. So I usually put the ant in the front front and turn. Let's see. Rude birds. Okay, now that I'm speedrunning, fast mode. In fast mode, it doesn't show the explanation of the perks whenever a pet does it, but like I know this pack pretty well to where I know all the perks each pet has. <laughs> I played this game for like 25 hours. Let's see, 10 coins. Let's fill in the slots with mosquitoes just to fill it in because I want to go into turn three having a full team anyway. Reroll, keep the honey. Nothing good, really. Out of all these pets, I'm probably going to keep the ant the longest. Obviously, selling the pig and the pigeon first, because you get a coin back, and then you get a breadcrumb. You can keep the mosquitoes for a while, because they do deal one damage to a random enemy. Also, you may notice when I play, I do not stack pets unless I need the space. Because when you stack, you only get the upgraded tier perk whenever it's fully leveled up. So, like, if I stack the mosquito now... It would just be, like, a waste of space and money. So for this turn, I'm going to give the honey perk to the ant. Because it's right in the front. Who has a pet ant? I feel like there had to be at least one school, who, or one kid in school, who had an ant farm. And that was not me. Yeah, since I had two mosquitoes, I did two rock damage. Uh-oh, which Jobin? Stupid summon bill! I hate them. See, I'm already down two hearts turn two. This is a bad round. <laughs> My brother kept ants for fighting? Is there really a market for that? What? Let's see. Selling the pig, purchasing the beaver, re-rolling. Getting the flamingo early on is good. Whenever the flamingo flaints, 
You have the two nearest friends behind, plus one attack, plus one heart. That's pretty good, honestly. Selling a mosquito? Flamingo in the front front, that way when the flamingo dies, it gives the ant and the beaver additional health. Rerolling? Ooh, kangaroo! Another kangaroo! And an apple. Huge. Who has a pet mosquito? Me? Send me a picture right now. And if you're lying, you're in big trouble. Okay, I have three coins left. Who should I sell? I'm gonna sell the pigeon. That way I get the breadcrumb plus one. Getting the kangaroo, giving the breadcrumb to the kangaroo. Rerolling? Nothing good. Keeping the apple frozen for next turn, and then the kangaroo. Now, where would be the best place to put the kangaroo? Oh, behind, like I said earlier, putting it behind a pet that has a summon, that way you get an extra turn. Next turn. Also, as you can see, I, I just have the base background. I did not purchase any fancy skins. Okay, dude, you're on turn three and you only got two pets. What are you doing? My first W on this run. You know what else is a W? Subscribing. Because, guys, we are an hour to stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Okay, guys, get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I already did the command, sorry. I did it twice. There we go. Also, I'm literally $1 away from my Twitch PL. Can we get, like, a million bits right now? <laughs> okay, back to work. Okay, L roll. Let's see, I got 10 coins. I'm honestly probably only going to keep the kangaroo for endgame because you guys saw my, my dream build. Giving the apple to the kangaroo, that way when I re-roll I can get a different item. That sucks. Okay, nothing good. Four coins left, last roll. Ooh, I got the worm! That's good to get worm this early on because now from this point on, I'll get an apple every turn. Um, Guys, type one if you're following along. Get a copy of bar narrow. I don't think that's the right thing, buckle. Also, guys, do you want to sponsor a Japan trip so I can go pet capybaras? Hmm. Peace, I too, hmm. Freezing the worm. Sandling the mosquito, because for sure I want to buy a pet. And then re-rolling to see if I get anything better. Cupcake, El. Duck, L. I don't need a duck right now. Buying the worm, so next turn I get an apple. It's from the boys? Wait, I didn't tell you guys. I'm fully caught up on the boys now. I'll say it. The season's woke. End turn. <laughs> they roam free in South America? Really? Wait, I thought they were only in Asia. Is that, like, bad of me to say? Okay, a 7-7 seven, seven kangaroo. Huge! And I had to be summoned. I can win this. No. Fuck. <laughs> no. No. I Okay, I said it earlier, but like the first few turns are not going to be good. You reach turn five. Tier three pets are unlocked. W. Buying a kangaroo so I free up more pet slots. Seven coins left. Freezing the apple, re-rolling, in hopes of getting a better pet. Last roll. Yes! Peacock! Who do I want to swap out? Honestly, the peacock- or sorry, honestly, the flamingo only giving a plus one, kind of an L. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Freezing both these peacocks, re-rolling one more time, that way- Because I have one extra coin. Hmm. Peacock in the front. Peacock and apple are frozen for next turn. The sleeping pill makes one pet faint, always on sale. 
So the sleeping pill is good for is good for pets that have a perk to where something changes in battle whenever that pet dies. I don't like relying on a pet to die because basically in order to win from what I've noticed is to give your pets as much health as you can that way they can just tank hits. Another crazy build I've seen is Peacock with a camel in front. Oh, house. Oh, hi, Ethan. I didn't say hi. Okay, intern. Pets with perks. Yes, sir. They make you happy and healthy. I should be able to win this. I have a lot more base health than my opponent's pets. I keep on wanting to say Pokemon. <laughs> Watch this. Only lost two pets. W. Two Vs make a W. Wait, I messed up. <laughs> giraffe. Start a turn. Give the nearest pet ahead plus one attack, plus one health. The giraffe is good because it has low base health and attack, but it basically saves you the cost of buying an apple, right? Because it gives you one attack, one health for free versus... Buying an apple for three, to, for three to two coins. I'll be honest. Getting rid of the ant is kind of lame. Swapping up for the giraffe. So now, at the beginning of every turn, at the start of every, um, like after a win or loss, and then it spawns the new RNG, it will give the pet in front of it plus one. Which is very good. Eight coins left. Purchasing both peacocks so it levels up. Ooh, a deer this early on is really good. And then since I have two coins left, I can afford an apple. Making my peacock super tanky. End turn. Does anybody play at home? Type 1. Uh-oh. Oh, thank god, it's a draw! It's a draw! Thank goodness. Zero, what is this? Do you guys not watch, like, Northern Lion? Like, what's going on? He's my goat. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna keep my deer frozen. Because I might want to swap out the deer for the giraffe, but since we're still in mid-game, I want to focus on building up the health of all my pets. So selling the beaver, whenever I sell it, two random pets get plus attack. Good, I went to the worm and the kangaroo, that's what I wanted. Purchasing the hippo. This is very good. You know my goat's case catch in... Who's Lacey? Oh yeah, the other guy you, The guy you gave your prime to, not me. Do you guys even know who Northern Lion is? He's been streaming for forever. Eight coins left. That means I can buy two things. Hmm. I need to start giving base health to my hippo. That way it can be put... As a tank in the front. Rerolling to see if I could get a different pet. I got a peacock. We're going to freeze that. The parrot is really good to put behind the deer. Because the parrot perk is copy ability from the nearest pet ahead is level 1 until next turn. So that means if you put the parrot behind the deer, whenever the parrot dies, it will also turn into a chili buzz. The parrot is huge. One more reroll. I'm going to redeem the apple, that way I have two different items next turn. Okay, right now, the hippo is stronger than the peacock, so we're going to switch these two. The scorpion is not available for people to choose, so it's fine if I put my strongest pet in the front. You've never heard of NL? Oh my god. Guys, roast him in the YouTube comments. Okay, this guy already has a deer. 
Look, the hippo is taking out everybody! I'm so lucky I got the hippo fairly early on. Dang, look at that! So good. Guys, short stream. Oh, two pairs? That's really nice. Can stream elements hear you say YouTube? No, I don't have, like, AI voice detection on my stream elements. I think it's weird when people do. <laughs> I know I would be creeped out. I don't like when... Because, like, I stream to, like, have fun. I don't like being reminded that, like, people are listening, if that makes sense. I personally like the dolphin. At the start of battle, deal 4 rock damage to the lowest health enemy. This is really good if you want to preemptively attack, like, somebody's scorpion. Because people usually don't give health upgrades to their scorpion. But I'll keep the giraffe for now. I need to keep giving base health to my team. I definitely need to redeem the pears now. Because the pear is worth plus 2 attack, plus 2 health. So it's a lot better than an apple. But for the same price. Making my hippo a tank. Freezing the apple, rerolling. Now I have three coins left. I can either buy the apple or purchase a pet. I'm going to purchase the apple this turn because I don't want to buy a deer yet. And if I purchase the peacock, I still need two peacocks to stack to level it up. Reroll one more time. I said earlier, the rabbit is pretty good. But it's not going to fit on my team. The rabbit is good for like the first half of your turns because that's when I personally choose to keep buying health items. So if I would have gotten the rabbit earlier, I would buy it, but at this point, nah. I usually don't stack the giraffe because the RNG of getting a giraffe this late in the game is not high, so I'm not going to freeze the giraffe. I'm just going to purchase the apple. Make the hippo a tank! Wait, I forgot to freeze that last apple! Shoot! Guys, stream ends when I get 10 trophies. See? Stupid dolphin. So annoying. Die. Yeah, I can still win this. We're good. We're good. Hi, Spartan. Welcome in. You're muted, Lamau. <laughs> Thank you. Also, please behave today. I feel bad timing you out, but it's gonna happen every time you act up. <laughs> w! Okay, we're about halfway through. You each turn nine. Tier five pets are unlocked. Okay, so now that the scorpion is now in play, I have to be very careful about which pet I put in the very front. Hmm. Now that the scorpion is in play, I'm gonna put the peacock in front. Because I don't want to have them immediately take out my hippo. Redeeming the pair. Keep making the hippo a tank. Freezing this apple. In hopes I can maybe get a scorpion to spawn. <gasps> I am so lucky. I am so lucky. Another scorpion? Ooh, okay. So you know how earlier I said whenever you stack pets on top of each other and you level them up they get a increase to their perk? The scorpion does not do that. The scorpion's perk stays the same no matter what level it is, but leveling up the scorpion is fine because every time you stack a pet on top of it, it still gains health and attack. Who do I swap out, though? Probably I should swap out the giraffe. He's too little health, and I could just keep buying health items. So now that I have a scorpion purchased, we're going to... Move the peacock back, put my strongest pet in the front, because no matter what, the opponent's first pet will die. Now that I have a scorpion on the team. Yeah, this is the same build as last time, I think, but now my hippo has more health. Freezing another apple, re-rolling, ready for next turn. I feel good about this run, it's going decent. Yeah, see, look, the elephant. Oh wait, this this build is crazy. Because since the blowfish, every time it's hit, it deals three random damage with a rock. Him putting the elephant in front of the blowfish is good. Because every time the elephant takes a hit, it hurts the person behind it. So if you tank, like give a lot of health to your elephant, 
that way it tanks like three to four hits that means the blowfish will also hit three to four enemies but now he's dead I might win <laughs> easy I officially am halfway through five trophies Okay, good lineup. Let's see. I definitely want to redeem as many apples as I can this turn. Hmm. If I get another scorpion and get the hippo, they won't level up, but they'll increase by one. I'm going to get the scorpion just so he has, like, plus one health. Hmm. I have seven coins. That means I can buy... I'll buy the cheaper apple, that way I can reroll one time and then purchase an apple. Increasing base for the peacock. And then one base increase for the kangaroo, because right now, every time the hippo attacks, it only gains plus one, plus one. Rerolling, rerolling, nothing good, and turn. I think I can do this. Five wins left with three hearts, this is totally doable. Oh no, the gorilla has bird too! No, the- Okay, putting the scorpion in front of the whale is actually a great idea. But you know what? It still didn't work. <laughs> Easy! Plus one. Guys, short stream. You reached turn 11. Tier 6 pets unlocked. The furthest we've gotten today on attempt number 2. I think the only good pet is the boar and the fly. Every time the fly, or every time a pet dies, it summons a, I think a 4-2 fly, and it's pretty good. And then also the boar, before every time it attacks, it gains base health and base attack. So if you're going for a full offensive build, the boar is pretty good. Yeah, so the fly. Whenever a friend faints, summon a 1-4-4 fly in his place. Works three times per turn. So the fly is really good if you have like a shark summon build. But that's not what I have. I have full offensive. Is the peacock a Lady Gaga reference? I don't think so. When I see a peacock, all I think about is the Kung Fu Panda movie. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's legit all I think about. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ten coins. I wish I had a swan instead of a worm, honestly. I just like having money. I like having all my pets have the same base health stats, but still, since the kangaroo is behind the hippo, it'll gain probably like 3 health every turn. I kind of want to redeem these pets, that way I just cycle through more pets, because I, I want to get another scorpion. Reroll. Yeah, boar, before every attack, gain plus 4 health and plus 2 health. There's no maximum on this. So, like, if you put your boar in the front and it's a super tank and it kills four other pets, you can probably get the boar at the end of your turn to, like, a level or, like, 50 attack, 50 health. It's crazy. So, what people will do is they'll put their boar in the front whenever it's got, like, decent amount of health. Ooh, it could be kind of crazy. Giving the cupcake to the scorpion, that way it has 5 health, 5 attack. But most most pets are stronger than that at this point. Reroll, because I'm for sure going to use this apple this turn. You know what, screw it, let's give it to the scorpion, why not? Why not? Yep, they put the boar in the front, like it's silly! A goof. Dude, my build is such a hack. It's legit the best offensive build. I don't know if it's the meta. Look, 7 out of 10? Three more wins, three more hearts. We can do this on the second try. Quick YouTube video edit.
Okay, the chocolate is really good because it gives your pet plus one experience. So it, it's basically a similar perk to if you like stack on top of it. But you don't get the health benefit. But it's still good if you want to easily level up. Oh wait, no. Whenever you do give experience, it does give plus one health. So it's like the same as like stacking a pet on top of it. I lied, I was misremembering. Let's see, so I'm probably just going to redeem the apples and chocolate this turn. Now, my scorpion, hippo, and kangaroo are very close to leveling up. But the best perk to level up right now, because the scorpion does not get better when it's leveled, the hippo would gain, I think, either plus four or plus six. And then the kangaroo would gain, I think it's plus three. And I think, honestly, giving it to the hippo is the smart thing to do right now. Yeah, plus six, plus six. Huge. I don't like the snake or the gorilla. Not my playstyle. Rerolling. Another hippo. Huge. So right now, since I have three health left and three trophies away, I can only afford to win or get drawn. So right now, I need to be focusing on... Increasing the attack and base health of my pets. That way I don't die at this point. I'm gonna give it to the peacock. That way she lives. And turn. If I can do this on the second try. Classic summon build. Classic. I'm scared of the whale. It's got 17 health. The reason why hippos are really effective against summon builds is because if the summons they spawn are low health, then the hippo can just take it out. Uh-oh, it itched over. The reason why this build is really strong is because they have a turkey. Whenever a friend is summoned, give that friend plus three attack, plus two health. If you see a summon build with a turkey, it's over. Even if I gave the apple to the hippo, it would not have worked. Okay, at this point on, I literally have to win. I cannot afford a loss. See the turkey right here? I don't have any pets that have a summon, so I don't need it. Hmm. I need to build base health. But why do the your pets have cute birdie hats? Oh, mine don't. You can- this game is free to play, but you can purchase different, like, aesthetics. So, like, different backgrounds and then different, like, hats. And also, um, every time you get a trophy, like even if you don't get all 10, you still get points. And then it's kind of like leveling up. Every time you level up, you get a free skin. I like the look of just the normal pets. I don't like putting clothes on animals. Hmm. Making my hippo super tanky. The stake is kind of huge. Attack with plus 20 damage once. Sushi is also good. Give three random pets plus one. Since I only have two heart left, it's probably better to just make sure I stay alive. So giving a plus 20 to a pet is the smarter thing to do right now. And I'm going to give it to the hippo. No, no. I'm gonna give it to the peacock. End turn. I have to win. No, they have two scorpions! I've never seen a three scorpion build. That's crazy. Okay, I only have one heart left. I literally have to win. I literally cannot lose. I have three wins. Oh. Leveling up the scorpion.
It could be Jobert. Three armed up pets. Plus one. Ooh, another steak? I'll give it to the kangaroo. Please let me win. Please let me win. I don't want to reset. This could be doable. Yes! That's eight. Two more. I got lucky. Okay, the monkey is another one I will choose. Give the frontmost friend plus two attack plus two health. The monkey is better than the worm. I'm gonna sell the worm. Because if I get the monkey, it'll just every turn give more health to the scorpion. That way I don't have to pay. And it's plus two attack and plus two health. So it's like more value than purchasing an apple every turn. Hmm. Since my kangaroo, hippo, and peach have peach and peacock have decent base health stats. I'm going to max out my scorpion in hopes that maybe, just maybe, it can take out two pets on the opposing team. A chili and a chocolate? Goddamn. Next turn, if I live, which I will, chili to the hippo, chocolate to the kangaroo, that way it levels up. Ooh, my scorpion is 11-11 now. Summon build, so cringe. Also, since they have the sheep in front of the parrot, that means when the parrot dies, it'll also summon rams. But this could be good because it's by the hippo, and she has 11 health right now. Oh no. Summon builds are so stupid and dumb and cringe and hacky. Game over, turn 15. Ah, uh, if I would have gotten the monkey earlier, it could have worked. Okay, that was attempt number two. A strat I want to try for this next turn is the moment I get Scorpion, I just keep giving it health. I'll try that. Man! So close to new skin. New game. That was a decent attempt, though. Let's be honest. No losses incoming, surely. Surely. Okay, we're an hour in, two games. I'm gonna win. Pigeon and freezing the apple. Ooh, beaver, huge. Ant in the front, pigeon in the back, and turn. I don't get why they have such sus words sometimes. Unknown rockets, World War Three. <laughs> also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Ain't no way. W. Two beavers? Reroll another beaver. Since my team is full of beavers, I'm going to keep one beaver for a while. So let's just give it an apple. That way it should be able to survive this turn and next turn without like immediately one hit KOing. Watch this stream take eight hours. It's fine, I'll get the heart back, it's fine. A defeat is fine at this point. It's not Jover. If I get lucky and get a worm this turn... Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay, 
Okay, I got a flamingo and a kangaroo. Selling the pigeon to get plus one back. Freezing that. Rerolling one more time. What? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Selling the ant? Because I don't need it. Buying the kangaroo. Putting the strongest beaver in front of said kangaroo. Giving the kangaroo the bread because I'm going to keep it the longest. Rerolling one more time. Freezing the apple. End turn. Getting a worm this early is very good because now every single turn I have a guaranteed two coin apple. So that means the cost of upgrading my pets is less. It's fine if I lose this. It's okay. Oh, a draw! Even better. Five coins left. I don't want the honey. I'd rather just save up to get health. Hmm. At this point, I don't need the flamingo. I don't. Because it only gives temporary attack and health. I'd rather keep rolling to get a peacock. Come on! No! At least I got a kangaroo. This game, it's just like gambling. <laughs> You're like crossing your fingers to get the one that you really want? Cringe summon build, cringe. If I ever become a summon build main, cancel me. Only good pet from this is the rabbit or the giraffe. Ooh, peacock! Okay, let's see. I got a lot of good things. Debating if I want to save up to get the giraffe or the rabbit. Stocking the beaver, so it just has more base health. Find the peacock. I'll save the giraffe for next turn. Oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll stack the beavers, level it up, so now whenever I select two random friends, we'll get plus two. The parrot could be kind of interesting. To put either behind the kangaroo or... The peacock? No, I don't. No, I don't like hopping. I'm not a cheater. Intern? I feel good about this run. Classic elephant peacock. Uh oh. Now the peacock is super OP. Dang it. Oh wait, did I not buy the giraffe last turn? <laughs> okay, I blanked on that one. The swan is good, but I still should keep the worm. Oh wait, I could have sold the beaver for the swan, but I don't want to have too many low health pets on my team. Because the beaver is pretty strong for what it is right now. Okay, we good. We Gucci. If I get the peacock or the hippo early on, I usually make those super tanky at first. Ooh, now we can get the hippo.
it could be worthwhile to swap out the giraffe for another worm. I'm going to freeze it. Make some purchases. Reroll. Reroll. Hmm. Because the giraffe only gives plus one attack, plus one health versus the worm. It could give me another plus one, plus one. It will cost two coins, but like upgrading the worm will still give you an apple that costs two coins, but the apple is more powerful. So I'm going to get rid of the draft, summon another worm, because I'd rather have two plus one apples. Freezing the salad, getting rid of the apple, because I'll just get cheap apples from the worms. Hippo! W. Next turn, we'll swap out the beaver for the hippo. Stupid dolphin. Don't worry, it's gonna get better. The first few turns are rough. Now we got two plus one apples. Huge. Selling the beaver for hippo. I got lucky that the plus ones or plus twos went to the kangaroo and peacock. Very lucky there. Nine coins left. Rabbit could be kind of good now. The rabbit. Every time a friendly eats food, give them an additional plus one permanent health. Rabbit build. Why not? Because every turn I feed my pets anyway, and if I can get an extra plus one, I think that will be good. End turn. I'm so nervous. I just realized I only have two trophies and two hearts left. That's really bad. Turn nine, tier five pets unlocked. Now people can have turkeys, scorpions, and monkeys. Leveling up the worm? That way, now, it will stock one Apple, every turn, that gives a pet plus two attack, plus two health. I don't like any of these pets besides the kangaroo. Making my hippo into a tank? No other pet is close to leveling up. Feed apple reroll. Nothing good. End turn. Twenty five health. It's so cringe when people only give health to one pet. Dude, the stupid worm, the weakest guy, took out everybody. So stupid. And now, it's a higher tier apple. This could be the last turn, so I need to think of which is the best pet to give the pair to. I'm honestly thinking hippo still. One of the pair. Okay, good. 
The crocodile is also good. Deal a rock damage to the last enemy. This is really good if you're going against a summon build where they have a shark in the back. Because usually, like, the base health of a shark is 2-2. So if you have the crocodile, it'll just immediately kill the shark. And it foils their plans. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to swap out the rabbit because I need health. I love giraffes. I've only seen giraffes at the zoo in person. Guys, type 1 if you want me to do a safari stream. I think I need to make the peacock more tanky. There we go. And turn. Hopefully my pets have enough health to live. A draw! Thank you! Thank you. Turn 11. It's been a while since we've been here. Salad to give random health. Even this to the kangaroo because the kangaroo has the lowest amount of health. I could do one more item. Salad. Dang, Hippo's got 21. The max attack a pet can have is 50, but I'm not sure what the max health is. End turn. Somehow, I have to get seven wins with only one life left. Impossible. Stupid chili perk, so lucky. And it's a summon build. The dog. Every time a friend is summoned, gain plus four attack, plus two health. Oh uh, no. I'm not gonna be able to destroy the dog. Well, that was attempt number three, turn 11. It probably was a mistake to get the rabbit, but the base health of the hippo and the peacock is fairly high because of it. Ooh, new skin. Wow. New game. <sighs> Here we go again. I'm speedrunning now. Elderly rascals. <laughs> All those boomers on Facebook who think the memes that are AI are totally real. Well, do look at me at the end of the stream. Thank you, Sparky. Draw, I'll take it. I'll buy the otter just so I can not have to reroll and not waste money right now. And I will give the honey perk to Bieber. Enter. Because I'd rather have a full team of five by this by turn three. Yeah, look, imagine having such an empty team. Couldn't be me. Easy. Selling the otter. And selling the mosquito. Because you know what? I'll buy two swans. That means from here on out, every turn we'll have two gold. Enter. Didn't you just say giraffes were your favorite animal? <laughs> I didn't know this for the longest time, but pigeons, wings, or their feathers are kind of iridescent. I just thought they were pure gray. Uh-oh. Draw! No! Stupid bee summon.
It'll be kind of crazy. Three swans. <laughs> Okay, getting a rabbit now would be kind of chill. Did you know that pigeons have higher IQ than cats? Wait, that's crazy. I'm gonna give the cupcake to the beaver. That way it lives longer this turn, why not? I don't want to reroll. I'll say it, cats are kind of dumb. You know, they jump off of high shelves? Why? <laughs> okay, easy dub, easy dub. Leveling up the rabbit could be good this early on. Freezing the salad? I'm only going to level up the rabbit if, if two spawn. Okay, well now there's two rabbits. Three rabbits? Hmm... Leveling up the squan, the squan, and then getting the peacock. Right now, since the beaver is stronger than the peacock, we'll put it behind the kangaroo, but next turn, we'll put it in front. Oh wait, I should have put the swan in front of the kangaroo, it's stronger than the beaver right now. Uh oh. Cringe summon build. Cringe, cringe, cringe. I vote for a summon run. I have played summon runs, and I don't feel good winning with a summon run. I'll say it. They're legit so cringe. Ooh, a chili deer, though. I'm down to sell the beaver for a deer. That way you guys can see what the deer does. You don't want to give health to your deer because the whole point of it is to die. Like, if you want, you can give the pill item to the deer, but you shouldn't because if it insta- if it insta dies, then you still don't do one less damage. I'm not gonna get the draft this turn because I have the rabbit and the swan. More health to the peacock, and turn. Wait, they also have a deer! Remember how I said earlier the deer and the parrot combo is really good? There it is. W. 3 out of 10. No, I, I don't want to do the parrot build. It's too hacky. What's better than getting a parrot build is getting a mushroom item for the deer. The mushroom item makes the pet when it dies to respawn again. But the mushroom item doesn't spawn until like turn... Like 11. That's why we haven't seen it at all today. Three peacocks? Wow. Quick. 
Intern. I'm locked in. I want to win. I think I think I need to bring the kangaroo to where the swan is. Swap the kangaroo and the swan. Level up the peacock. The cow is interesting. Because when you buy it, it replaces the shop food with milk. And the milk gives plus one attack, plus two health. So if you buy the cow and you place it on your roster, it changes the items to free milk. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to waste three coins for that. No good items. I want to free up my pet roster. So just purchasing the two frozen pets I had. Because I'm surprised I haven't gotten a hippo at all yet. I can maybe clutch this. Yes, sir. Five trophies ha five trophies officially halfway through on this attempt. I believe. Okay, now people can get sharks, turkeys, and scorpions. Sharks are scary for summon builds. Uh no good items. Ooh, monkey. Monkey is only good if I have a scorpion in the front, which I don't have yet. Okay, nothing good. <gasps> Chili! Chili is huge, giving it to the peacock. Saving the monkey for whenever I do get a scorpion. Leveling up the kangaroo. And then salad. Yummy. Man, my peacock has 19 health. End turn. This is the run. Having the deer at the very front is good because usually people put their most offensive pets in the very front, so you can attack both of them. Yep! Six out of ten. Three hearts left. This is a really good run, honestly. Ooh, another monkey. Freeze the hippo because I don't know if what I want to replace yet. I'd probably replace the rabbit, but I'll wait unless I get more food spawned here. Which is exactly what I wanted. Sushi? Salad? One more roll? Let's see. Oh, since the hippo only has a 4-6, I should buy it now. That way next turn I can keep, like, leveling it up. I want to keep this one because it does have the best perks, giving me three extra gold, so basically I, I'd be able to afford one extra item every turn. So finally, it's time to let go of the rabbit. It's time. Time for the hippo to go in. I'm going to put it in the back because it has the least amount of health. scorpion is really good if i do scorpion build then i then i'd probably get rid of the swan so then i wouldn't have space for the monkey yeah i'll decide strategy next turn oh man
Uh-oh. So the whale, at the beginning of every turn, it swallows the pet in front of it and then it copies the perk. That's why putting the deer in front of the whale is good because it swallows the deer, the deer dies, and then it also summons another bus. I was cooked. Man. That's okay. Two hearts left, four wins to go. This is doable. It probably was a mistake to take out the hippo or swap it out. I think I need to sell the swan, that way I can put the scorpion in. I already got the money from it. Here on out, I have to be more sparing with my money. I have 10 coins left. Turn 11 is when I said the mushroom starts spawning. So the mushroom. Give one pet the mushroom perk. Whenever it faints, come back as a 1-1. One, one. You do not want to give the mushroom to the scorpion because, as you can see, it replaces their currently held item. So the best pet to give the mushroom to is the deer. Because, therefore, when the deer dies, it'll spawn a bus and then it'll also respawn. And then when that second deer respawns, it spawns another bus. Honestly, giving the mushroom to the deer is a hack. It's so hacky, but it's so good. And then sushi to give random health. I don't think I need to alter my formation because the peacock is still the strongest right now. And turn. Very good because the, oh. There goes my scorpion. That's awkward. That was very unfortunate because the mosquito does random damage to the opponent's- Oh wait, I won! The mosquito does a random rock damage to the opposing team and it randomly hit the scorpion. Like, literally the worst pet to hit. But you know what, I still won. Three wins away, two hearts left. This is totally- this is possible. Okay, the smart thing to do here, purchase the peacock, purchase the chocolate, that way the peacock is max level. Now, whenever it's hurt, it gains 9 attack power. Reroll one more time, freezing the chocolate, redeeming the pair, because I just need to live. I need to live past this round. Hmm. I think I should give this to the peacock because the peacock needs to keep tanking because since the peacock's only the attack increases, its health does not. So you need to make the peacock as tanky as it can be. End turn. Replace the peacock with the pigeon? No! <laughs> Scorpion's gonna kill the bus. Oh, another summon build? Dude. So cringe. Man! Seven trophies, one heart left. I have to win. The mushroom item is good. But no other current pet I have would be as effective if it was resummoned again. So I don't think I need it. I'm going to keep the chocolate in case I get other pets that I can level up with. Nothing good. Nothing good. Freezing the pair. Hmm. 
Hmm. I need to increase the health of the hippo right now. I think it was a mistake to keep upgrading the peacock. I'm going to swap positions of the hippo and the kangaroo because the crocodile, since it's in play, it deals 8 damage to the last enemy. If you upgrade the crocodile to like level 2, I think it does like 10 or 12 damage. So that means if somebody has a crocodile, then the hippo will die. But if anything, the kangaroo will live. End turn. This could be the final turn. Mushroom with the mammoth. Dang, nothing I could have done there. Turn 13. The problem with my strategy is that I need to get the desired pets early on. That way I can level them up appropriately. So I rely so much on the RNG when I shouldn't. Well, that was attempt number four. You're dying because you need a pigeon? A pigeon is not the way. You don't know the way. Also, I know it's time to run an ad because we are two hours in the stream or an hour and a half into this run. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $5.99 to $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you got a free sub available. Do it now. Okay, we're back in. Also, wait, I need to fix my hair. This one curl? It was so cute earlier? No. I hate it. Here we go again. You know what? If we get to attempt 10, I'll do a stupid summon build. Here. I'll get a cricket. It'll summon. Freeze the honey. Freeze the beaver. I'm locked in. Green machines! I like the rhyme there. W draw. Pigeon, just so I can get an extra breadcrumb later. Nothing good. I'm freezing the honey because next turn will be turn three, so I'll have better items. Draw is good. Turn three. So I'm gonna pigeon for the kangaroo. Rerolling to maybe get a peacock? Imagine. Oh, a swan is still very good. Enter. <laughs> Sorry, the perk for the fish is fine. Whenever the fish levels up, give two friends plus one attack plus one health. That's fine, but it's more cost-effective to just, like, buy apples. Yup! 
first win for this run? Come on, give me a peacock. Ooh, worm is very good. Selling my cricket because it's D U M. Buying the worm this turn. That way, next turn I will have apples. Good formation. So lucky they have a peacock already. That's fine. Early game, I'm supposed to lose. Buying a second small the way next turn, I get two gold. Freeze me apple, maybe I'll get a peacock? Imagine. Keeping this one, we'll make it a 3 3. Put it in the front. And turn. Now, the pigeons are only really good for beginning game because you buy it for 3, and then when you sell it, you get a coin back, and then you get a plus 1 heal. Like, it's cost-effective, but at this point, you don't want to waste space on your team. Because I've tried builds in the past where I keep a pigeon until the end and make it a tank, but it's not really worth it. Peacock! Selling my beaver? Two worms? Lucky. Okay, we're gonna purchase one worm, that way this worm levels up, that way next turn we'll get a 2-2 two, two apple. Purchasing the apple to give it to the peacock, why not? Now the peacock is has the most health after the kangaroo. This person has two horses, each horse Gives the summon pet plus two attack. The game is sexist because peacocks are male and female are pee fowl. Oh wait, pee f pee heads? Wait, I feel like you're making a joke. I <laughs> can't be real. <laughs> Making my peacock a tank. Reroll. Another worm? I'll buy it. Why not? Next turn? I'm doing okay. I'm not thinking too much with turns now. I'm, I just want to get through it. Oh no, the elephant camel combo! No! That's bad because that chain of three, the elephant, camel, and peacock will just keep hitting each other and then the peacock will keep getting stronger. Okay, three trophies, three hearts, not too bad. A deer? Ooh. Combining the swan, I want the deer now. I want it. Still making the peacock a tank. Three rollings, now I have five coins. 
and then purchasing the worm to give it one extra health and turn. This could be a good run. Very good. Okay. I have faith, trust, and pixie dust in this attempt. Ooh, scorpions are now in play. Leveling up the deer is a pro strat because if you get the deer to level 2, it'll spawn a 10-10 chili bus, which is super OP. The moment I get a second deer, we're leveling it up. Monkey is good for later, but I'll still freeze it. I might need it later. One pet plus two, or two pets plus one? I'd rather do two pets plus one. Ah, that's fine. End turn. They have a 19 beaver? W. Halfway there, five trophies. I don't want to re-roll. I don't. So I'm just going to redeem the apple. Give it to the deer. And then level up the deer one. Or stack it once, not level up. And turn. This could be rough. Nope. Ah! If they didn't have the sheep there, it would have been fine. Two hearts left. Melon perk is good. Take 20 less damage once. I kind of want to save for a chili, but I also need to stay alive. I'll freeze it and see what I get. Mmm. I think I should give the melon perk to at least the kangaroo, because right now the kangaroo only has 13. So if I can negate 20 damage once, that'll be beneficial in the long run. Ooh, them having only a 10 health hippo? saved we gucci definitely the melon was a good purchase last turn i want to level up the worm that way next time next turn from here on out i get a plus three apple i think right now i need to focus on health so giving more health to the peacock and the kangaroo. Enter. Oh no! What's the rhino do? Deal four damage to the first enemy. Oh, that's fine. 
They should have put the peacock behind the camel. Then it truly would have been a hack build. Uh oh. The rhino's super strong. No! One heart left, four trophies away! Ah. Uh, today's not a good day. Melon perk to the peacock. I need to focus on health this turn. Two random pets plus two. Freeze the plus three apple. Ooh, scorpion. I'm selling this one. She's not super leveled up. Scorpion in the front. And I still have my two apples. Who do I need to save? I'm gonna give the apple to the worm. That way if it comes down to it, it still has 13 health. End turn. No pigeons have spawned recently. Pigeons don't spawn in this late in the game as much. No, they have a 4-4 scorpion! He still died. <laughs> Oh no. No, the stupid shark someone built. Grr. Temp number five. Turn 13. I can do this. This is doable. I'm not gonna cave to a summon build. I'm not. Mosquito freeze the apple. Beaver, pigeon. Unfreeze the apple. Very good. Sulking noobs. There is a strat to just give health to the pets you get in the first turn. But the problem with doing that is that the pets in the first turn do not have good perks. Draw? That's fine. I'll take it. The fainting perk could be good now. Freezing the honey? Summon cringe. I don't want the otter. I'm gonna give the honey to the ant. Because I'm probably gonna keep the ant the longest. Draw. A okay. Peacock this early on? Huge. The strat is you freeze, see if you get any more good pets, and then you sell the duck. Very good. So now we sell the duck. That way, both the swan and the peacock get plus one health. Selling the pigeon, that way I get the breadcrumb. And I shall give it to... Hmm. I'll give it to the swan. Because I'm going to keep both the swan and the peacock. Kangaroo this early on is good as well. There we go. You're going to lose since you sold the pigeon? Screenshot of that for when I, like, win this round. Whoa, a full cricket bitch? What? That's crazy. I've never seen this. This guy is wild. I guess the perk to having a full cricket build is that... That means they'll have at least five extra turns, because he, if each cricket summons a 1-1, one, one, yeah, there'd be five extra turns. It's kind of like stalling. Oh, 
A worm and a kangaroo. Selling the mosquito. And... No, I'll keep the ant. Oh, of course, it gave the power up to the ant. I'm getting rid of the ant in, like, next turn. The moment I get something good, she's gone. Yeah, selling the ant so I can get another swan on the team. That way I can get an extra two coins on every turn. I feel good about that. What do pigeons do anyway? They, whenever you sell the pigeon, you gain a plus one health item. So they're good to buy early on when you're focusing on build- Okay, that sucked. When you're focusing on building your team versus like giving your- like buying heals. Ooh, rabbit is also good. No, I, I don't want to do a rabbit this attempt. Stacking the swan. Plus two. Rerolling. I'll purchase one apple and then stack the peacock. That way next turn I have a full... Full dice roll, you could say. Enter in. Whoa, imagine only having two pets. They messed up. Another dub. Dang, nothing good. I should probably give the garlic to the kangaroo, and I could just swap it out with a different perk. I think I'm gonna put my hair out too, it's bothering me. Replace the peacock with a pigeon? The pigeon is shit. I don't get why you're standing so much. You know what? Download the game, it's free, and do a pigeon only build. See what happens. Yup. I'm doing very good. Give me a hippo. Really? No hippo. Enter. Wow, lucky. Everybody else always has what I want. Saved. Wait, four trophies, only one heart lost? This is actually genuinely a really good run. Dear. Combining the swan? And we're getting that deer. Yes, sir. Mm. 
Rerolling. Salad. And purchasing a kangaroo. Enter. Come on, it's been two hours. I need this. Oh, that kangaroo is stronger than mine. It's Jober. No! Um, editor, cut out all the times I lose. This is a winning compilation. <laughs> Chili this early on is very good. Chili to the peacock. You want to give the chili item because it attacks the enemy behind as well for five damage. You want to give the chili to your pet that has the most health. Nothing good. Just going to buy the apples this round. There we go. Like I said, Spartan... Do a pigeon only build. See what happens. Oh, this is winnable. Five trophies with three hearts still? This is a promising run. Should we go full hack and do parrot deer build? That way we can get two chili buses? That honestly could be a strat. Let's see. I kind of want to try that. But do I want to get rid of the worm? Or the swan. I think I need the health items, so I'm gonna sell the swan. Oh seven. And we are gonna do the double chili buzz build. Reroll. Nothing good. Just buying a heal item. Let's see how this works. Now the parrot has copied the deer ability, so when it faints, you get a 5-5 a five, five chili bus. Man, another summon build. If I had two more health, man, still halfway to victory. I only have two hearts. It's possible, but not really. But you know what? I'll never give up. Ooh, Melon Perk is also good. Okay. Let's see. If I buy the Worm next turn, I can use Chocolate next turn. That way, the following turns, I'll get a 2-2 Apple. Melon Perk? Take 20 less damage once. I'm gonna give that to the Kangaroo to replace the Garlic, because instead of taking 3 less damage, I'll take 20 less damage. End turn. They only got four pets. Four very strong pets. Five trophies with one heart. The parrot build, I don't think was worth it. I should have just saved and kept rolling to get a hippo. 
Uh, this is not good. I need to prioritize health? Not good. I'm gonna level up the kangaroo this turn. So now it'll gain plus two attack, plus two health. Let's see if I live this. Nope, elephant camel build, so cringe. Oh, that's so annoying. Look, now they have a 40 peacock! Oh, wait, this could be li- No, it's winnable! The problem was, the peacock didn't have enough health to take all the hits it was taking. I was scared, I'll be honest. I still need to focus on health this turn. And turn. I'm just staying alive. supposed to be a short stream should I really do a summon build no they're cringe they're cringe purple feet grimace shake also guys we are another 30 minutes in the stream so if we new here click that follow button you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? I refuse to do a summon build. I will not give in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Getting two victories in your first two turns is really good because then you kind of have to try less hard in future turns. We are Gucci. I'm already up to two trophies, turn three. Freezing the kangaroo and re rolling in hopes I can get a peacock that way I can sell the duck. Ooh, a swan is also good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You know what's funny? There's been no pigeons in this build and it's been going so good. It's partially because the pigeon is three attack, but one health. I've noticed the runs I do better are ones where the starting pets have more base health. So yeah. Ooh, three victories in a row? A piece in first. Selling the mosquito so I have another swan slot. Selling the other mosquito so I can get another swan. That way I'll get three coins next turn. Huge. Cringe summon build, cringe. Oh, ain't no way I win. Cringe. Cringe. I would have to say a loss against a summon build is not a true loss. Plus three. <laughs> Buying both kangaroos so I can level it up. <gasps> Lucky! A hippo. That's so good. And his scum. Um. Let's go. Oh, that's so good for me. Getting a hippo now? Yes. This run is in the bag. Three wins already. Four hearts. Only turn four, I think. Or turn five. Yeah, turn five. This is very good. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna save the salad for when I have more stronger pets. Like now. Intern. I feel still very happy with this build so far. I cannot wait until I get a scorpion. We good. It is genuinely very good that I got the three kangaroo, peacock, and hippo so early on, because now they can keep building health. I think I'm going to combine the swan, just so I can put the drop in to gradually give health to the peacock and spend less money. Ooh, very good. Okay. I don't want to use the salad yet, because... I'm not going to keep the swan and giraffe through a late game. Crocodile could be good, but I'd rather keep the giraffe and swan for now. End turn. I think since I have my core three this early on in turn six, I need to focus on giving them health. Ooh, this is very good. The hippo is very easy to combat against summon builds. Oh no. Thank you. Five wins? Is this turn six or turn seven? Five wins? Oh, this is turn eight. <laughs> That's still pretty good with three hearts left, I believe. I have faith, trust, and pixie dust.
Just so I don't waste a roll, redeem the peacock now, that way he gets plus one health. And then a salad. I don't want to waste on rerolls right now. Because usually I will only reroll for pets if I have like only two of my desired, but right now I have four of my desired build. Okay, why is Dan so strong? Imagine being taken out by bugs. This is like when people bring the first five Pokemon they catch to the Elite Four. It's cute, but so cringe. Scorpion. I'm getting rid of the giraffe. Screw it. Scorpion is in. I should focus on health. But I kind of want to upgrade this one that way next turn I get three gold. No, I should wait. I should focus on living. Yeah, right now the hippo is stronger than the peacock. So it's fine to be in front of the kangaroo. Ooh, the parrot behind the scorpion could be kind of crazy. Because I do think it can copy the peanut ability. But I don't want to waste the space on that. And turn. Give me a summon build right now. And you will be demolished. This is a summon build. And the parrot is behind the turkey. That way their summons get more health. <laughs> Okay, that's not the summon build I wanted. Dude, are we really gonna be here all day? I swear I'm good at this game. Leveling up the swan in case I do survive. Only one more perk. Question is, do I want to give a 1-1 one, one permanent or 3-3 three, three temporary? I think it's smarter to give a 3-3 three, three temporary to the hippo. That way it will live longer. Give me a dub. Classic elephant camel peacock. I can maybe live this. Oh my god, so lucky! The peacock did not have enough health. Six trophies. Pizza gives randos health. I think I have to do cupcake again. Apple to the kangaroo. And then I'll buy the peacock. And turn. Because I, I didn't want to waste money on rerolling. I need to focus on healing. And health. And love. Of course they have a 3-5. Scorpion. I got really lucky with the pet RNG. I just don't think I had enough heals. Dang. I'll do this. I can do this. Your game. Attempt number eight. No, I'm not doing summon build.
misshaped mushrooms. Like the food. Draw is totally fine. On a reroll, so I get a better starting. Ooh, an ant is pretty good. Yeah, I'll buy the ant. The very front. And turn. Have I beaten it a lot already? In the 20 hours that I've played offline, I've gotten seven wins. So, like, not super good. But it's, like, decent for a beginner, I think. Because usually I'll play for an hour every day and I'll get a win. But, like, some days I'll just play for 30 minutes and I won't win. It usually takes me, like, an hour to... Or like 20 minutes to warm up and then an hour to get a dub but this i don't know because my strat used to work and i think it's because they changed the perk of the hippo they made the hippo less tacky okay this really sucks i'm not getting any good pets jesus Man, no peacock! No, I usually get one win every hour, so it's not good that I haven't gotten a win and it's been two and a half hours. <laughs> it's not good. W. Don't worry, I'm gonna win now. Ooh, peacock. You know, maybe the mistake I was making, because I would freeze, that way I could sell multiple, but I'm not going to do that. Selling the duck right away, just getting the peacock, I don't care. Very nice. Boing. <laughs> Intern. I know I always say, oh my god, this run is going good, it's redeemable, but this one is okay. As long as I don't lose here. Which I will. <laughs> so many It says giraffe. You know what? I will try the dolphin strat this time. Dealing four damage to the lowest health enemy would take out the scorpion in the future. And other pets too. Enter. Yeah, the dolphin will hit the lowest health enemy, which right now is the ant. Which will save me a turn. How'd they get a hippo? I'm gonna cry on stream if I keep losing. A parrot could be 
kind of good with the dolphin, but it would deal only 8 damage to one enemy. So it's not really worth it. You know what? Both cupcakes to the peacock. Screw it. I want them to be scared when they see me. Yup. In the bag. I will usually only redeem the cupcake item if I don't feel it's worth to respin. Now I can get the hippo. I still only have three hearts. Uh oh. Selling the giraffe? Did you get the deer? You never want to put an animal that has a perk in an active battle at the very end because there are some opponents that will attack the po sorry the pet in the very back. So since the swan does not have an in-battle perk compared to the dolphin, that's why I'm putting the dolphin in front of it. Also, thank you for the follow! Plus one! Thank you! You know what? I'll win this one just for you. Mm-hmm. And they also have a deer. I lost. <laughs> the dolphin's not worth upgrading because it only increases it from four to eight rock damage and it's whatever, you don't need to upgrade it. Hippo, yes. Hmm. You know what I'll say it? Dolphin stupid, hippo you're in. I don't want to do this, because if the opponent also has the chili item in the front, I'd rather them hit the peacock than the hippo. The chili item taking out the sheeps early on was very good. In the bag. I still got it! Okay, three trophies and two hearts. That's not good. <laughs> uh... No good pets. Why am I getting level one pets? L. Guys, type one if you believe in me. Even though I've been playing for two and a half hours. The dog in the back is gonna cook me.
I think it's better to just buy these pets. That way I don't have to waste a reroll. Because they're worth plus one health each, so it, it's fine. Kangaroo behind the peacock. Because my hippo ain't strong enough yet. Ooh, the whale in front is stupid because the whale can't eat anything. You're dumb. You stupid. And they put the dog in the middle? They should put it in the back. This guy is so bad. Omega Dance! So bad. I still got it. I want to try something crazy. One turn left. Selling the hippo. Getting the scorpion. Random hell. Melon perk to the peacock. Chili next turn. That's good. If I live to next turn. Okay, I have a decent lineup for next turn if I do live. Which I will. Because I'm cracked. Let's see how this works. Stupid game. <sighs> Filling up the arsenal. For this attempt, I'm gonna prioritize starting pets. I keep on wanting to say Pokemon. Starting pets that have high health. Hidden doodads. Uh, editor, cut out all the parts that I lose. Just put in the winning game, please. Which is gonna be this one. W! Huge, plus one. Getting a win in the first two turns is so impactful on your future games. I want the ant because it gives me plus one when it dies. I'm freezing because turn three we get good items. Three horses! I hope I don't see this guy again. Winning both turn one and turn two? Insane. L. Selling the duck that with the swan has plus one. Ooh, another swan, okay. Strange summons. Mm, nothing good. This is the run. I don't want to reach attempt 10 because I do not want to do a summon build. I'm too stubborn. This is fine. If I lose this turn, I'll gain a heart back next turn. This is totally fine. Four, six, 
You know what else is not fine? Watching ads, because guys, we are three hours in the stream. I wanted this to only take two, but we're still here. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Scout, skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Do it now! Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Dude, today was supposed to be a short stream. I literally have so much work to do tonight. This was only supposed to take me two hours. Total, not three. It's fine, I don't need to get mad. Selling a beaver, I hate you. Another swan is kind of huge, but then I don't have any strong pets. You know what? Full swan build. Screw it. Peacock and kangaroo? Yo. I'm happy with that. You know what else I'm happy with? Nah, we're not doing another ad. It's been two minutes. Today is not a subathon. This is supposed to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Maybe my strat is bad. Lucky, exactly where I wanted it to go. Guys, do not watch the Peace and Channel for gaming tutorials. Okay, the guy putting the horse in front of the cricket that has a summon is dumb. Learn how to do a summon build, bozo. Three trophies, three hearts, that's... that's fine. I don't want the giraffe, it's scam. Purchasing the peacock. Salad. Giving the cupcake to the peacock. I think this attempt, I'm gonna re-roll a lot less. I just need to focus on getting through it. And working with what I have. Dang it. Maybe playing, playing recklessly ain't it. I know I'm speedrunning now, but it's just like, I want to win. I need to win. I need this to be over. Swan is almost fully leveled up. I don't need to buy any more.
Purchasing the peacock so this levels up. The armadillo is interesting because it gives all pets 8 health, but I think it's kind of silly because then it puts everybody at the same playing field. I never use it. I don't want to keep the cupcake for next turn. It's not worth freezing and losing a slot. Trophies halfway through, two hearts left. Nothing good. Dude, it keeps like leveling up the wrong stupid swan. Grr. Monkey. We'll bring in the monkey now. <laughs> the deer. We're not doing deer this time. I'm not. I refuse. It ain't it. I think I'm just gonna save for the scorpion. Deer strat has not been working. Because the monkey will add additional 2 health to attack every single turn, so just gradually making some pets more tanky. Thank goodness a draw! I, I didn't see the shark till the end. I'm happy with this. Now my peacock and kangaroo- Oh, they have three deers with chilies? Bro, it- It's not looking good. No, I- Maybe I can live? Come on. Chili to the peacock. Hi, Zaya. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. If you got any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Welcome in. Okay, I got nine coins left. It's my final heart. I should use all coins. I should no longer reroll. Snake perk. Attack with plus 20 damage once. Debating it if I should give it to my swan or the kangaroo. I feel like I should give it to the swan because it just has lower attack in general. Six left. Purchasing both the kangaroo so it levels up to a 16-17 with plus two attack. This could be it. This could be manageable. The chili really coming in close? Four more, one heart left. This will be a miracle. 
I'm not doing hippo build. It's stupid. I denounced the hippo ever since they changed it from infinite attack up to three times for battle. They really be scamming. Ooh! Chocolate to the monkey? Purchase monkey? Now? It'll give the frontmost friend plus four. Huge. Now I only got seven bucks left. Buying both apples? Three coins left? Peacock. My peacock is so strong now. The bird, of course. Your hippo's gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have a summon build. I'm gonna kill that shark. Yeah! I got so lucky I got a chili when I did. Oh my god, three left. This is totally possible. Melon perk to the kangaroo. Ten coins left. That costs five. No, it's not worth to invest in a monkey upgrade. Only thing is I can buy salad. And then the apple. But to whom? Apple? To this one. And turn. Peacock with the chili perk is huge. The only scary thing is if there's a scorpion. If there's a scorpion, it's over. Nope, hippo, you suck. Camel does have the mushroom burst, but that's fine, that's nothing. Peacock will take out the boar. Yes, making the peacock the tank was the move. Eight trophies, two wins left. This is doable. I have faith, trust, and pixie dust. 13 coins. Hmm. The worm makes me anxious. I know it's low health. I think it would have been fine. Because I usually like upgrading my worm and my swan to max. Because having the three extra coins is game changing, honestly. Because it allows you to buy one extra item or pet. And then if you get the worm upgraded enough you can get the higher tiered apples. Which, with my playstyle, I like just making tanks, so just giving all the food items that give additional health. But this attempt, I did not get a lot of worms, but I got a lot of swans. And I think that is definitely working for the better right now. Let's see, I got 13 coins. I do not want to reroll. 3, 6, 12, 13. That means I can buy all three of these food perks and a pet. Hmm. This is eight trophies. For sure getting the apple. I don't want to keep giving health to the peacock because the monkey does it already. And I am still really scared of seeing the scorpion. Eight left. I should reroll. Debating if I want to buy the kangaroo or the worm right now. I, I'll buy both because I don't want to get the chocolate because none of my pets are close to leveling up. And turn. If I win this one, then we're one trophy away. And then we can end the video! My peacock's gonna kill the boar. <laughs> what? It was a tier 2 boar! 
turn 14. I think that's the furthest I've gotten today. Come on. That was decent, though. I got really lucky with the items I got. Definitely the strat of getting starter pets that have higher HP worked very well. Or not HP, but... <laughs> Attempt number 10. I'm not doing a summon build. I lied. Peace and cried. Sticky bones. Yeah, I got more total health. Eh, it's a draw. the thought of having two ants. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Man, I'm never have a, gonna have another good run as the last one. I definitely think abandoning the hippo is what I have to do. Like, focusing on the ca kangaroo and the peacock is better because you get them earlier on so you can give them more health quicker. Yo! L. Of course, gave a talk to the pets I don't want. Cool. Guys, I lied. The subathon is not tomorrow. Apparently, it's today. Subscribe right now. And I'll never stop playing Super Auto <laughs> You guys heard of the never-ending story? This is gonna be the never-ending stream. Another draw, that's fine. Man, they must really want me to have a cupcake. I'm combining? The ant. Because that ant already had higher health. The ant also has the highest attack right now, too. And turn. This is gonna be the run. So many build! Dude, you are so cringe and lame. You know what? I think it's worth to sell the ant for the dolphin. We'll keep it temporary. This attempt is totally unconventional. And I will give the garlic perk to the swan because I know I will keep it. And I'll upgrade the kangaroo. And turn. I 
put the dolphin in the front because it has higher base attack than the peacock. Thank you for not killing me. I usually don't go with the meat bone. But let's give it to the kangaroo for now. We'll keep this team as is. Put in the swan in the back. That way, if it gets hit, it should be fine. Dolphin behind the kangaroo now. Because the peacock has six health, so it should be safe. To tank at least the first hit. Yeah, it'll live. Yup! First win on the board. The blowfish is also a good strategy. Whenever it's hit, it deals 3 damage to one random enemy. I kind of want to swap it out for the dolphin, because the dolphin only does 4, but the blowfish can potentially do a lot more. I will try a completely different strat this time. It's attempt number 10. I need to try something new. Also, hi heart, welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. And since I have the blowfish, we're going to give it more health. I don't want to upgrade the blowfish because I will sell it later. Man, it really wants me to buy another one, huh? End turn. Was so close. I had a glimmer of hope. I'm not gonna buy the hippo. I'm not gonna be tempted. Purchasing this one now to upgrade it. And turn. We're almost three hours in. This has to be the run. They only have three pets. You don't have enough HP to live. Silly billies. Turn 9. Now that the scorpion is in play, I'm gonna put the blowfish in front. In front, a. And then also give it the garlic perk, that way it takes two less damage. Ooh, monkey! 
I'm getting rid of the worm because the monkey is far more worth. <laughs> Are there suckfish? Huh? Huh? How is that not a banned message? <laughs> you know, I already feel scared saying peacock so much today. I'm making my peacock the tank. Screw it. Now, since the blowfish is in the front, surely it can take one hit. Yo, it took two! I know you were gonna delete that. Huh? I know you would. You're like, please, I don't want this in the YouTube edit, please. Go no, no. Three trophies, three hearts. I have faith. Level up the peacock? It could be worth to level up the monkey. Hmm. Do I, want to, do I want to increase base health? I think it's smarter to do the pair, because whenever you stack a pet on top, it's only plus one versus the pair, which is plus two. But the question is, to who? Peacock is the tank. Guys, three hours. Three hours! Imagine only having a, a six health peacock. No, he has a shark! Wait, my, my blowfish is kind of like carrying right now. Oh no. That shark really cooked me. Turn 11. The chili bark! Yes, yes, yes! I have nine left. That means if I respin, I can only do two items. I think what I'll do, steak perk to the monkey. And I will buy a monkey and buy a swan. That way they each get plus one health and turn. I'll never lose. That's four. I'll freeze the scorpion, upgrade the monkey. Now the monkey will give plus four attack, plus four health. Another chili item though? We'll give it to the blowfish. He needs it. He doesn't need the protection because he has 15 base health and he's going to gain another 4 every turn. Pizza? Random health? I only have 4 trophies, I just realized. Oh. Find the swan to give him more health, keeping the scorpion for later, and turn. Whew. The moment I saw that the first opposing pet had like 20 plus damage, ain't no way. 
The melon perk is probably good to give to the blowfish, honestly. I got another chili. Kangaroo gets it. Freeze the apple. That means I can choose two items. Melon perk! Six coins left, one heart remaining. I need to survive. Apple to peacock. Since I have two pets that have the chili perk, I'm going to give the melon to the blowfish. Please work, please! They have a summon build with a dog in the back. They also have the horse. The problem is their summon still won't be super strong. So it's a matter of like just living it. Oh wow, they have... Uh oh. So lucky. Man. I'm gonna give Melon Perk to the Swan. That way it can tank one hit entirely. Let's see. Still only have one heart left. Still four trophies. <sighs> Pear. Peacock. I just need to live. Cupcake. Kangaroo. Next turn, we'll buy these two pets. Please don't be summons, please. You're so silly for putting the sheep in front of the whale is actually so stupid. They lost two rams, that's why. <laughs> Omega Dance so bad. Get good at the game, scrub. I'm sorry, that was mean. Five out of ten, halfway there. This will be a miracle. You know what else would be a miracle? If I get more followers today, because we've already gotten one. Can we get four more so we hit our daily goal? Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if we know here and you're lurking, follow and you get to type a chat and you get emotes for free. Ain't no way. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on so that we don't miss a single stream. Let's see, I got 12 coins. That means I can buy four things. Salad. Chili perk. I don't need it though. Ooh. Mushroom is pretty nice. Come back as a 1-1. One, one. None of these pets are really good for the mushroom perk right now. The mushroom perk is only really, really good if it's for like a summon pet. I would consider giving the mushroom to the blowfish, but I'd rather it just take 20 less damage. I'll keep the mushroom frozen though. <laughs> Wait, huge idea. Chocolate to the blowfish? Watch this. Level it up. Now, Blowfish will do 6 damage whenever it's hit. Plus 2. I think I'm going to unfreeze the Scorpion because I'm happy with the team I have now. I need more slots. End turn. Whew. 
Who would have thought the run where I wasn't really thinking? I'm doing decent at. Oh, the boar also has the melon perk. Four more. Nothing good here. Bind the swan so I get more empty slots. You know what? I don't need the mushroom. I need more slots. Since one heart left, I will not have enough turns to upgrade the monkey, probably. Random health. Salad and pizza. Sounds like a fun night. It could be worth to swap the kangaroo with the peacock. Because nobody's doing a scorpion build. And since the blowfish has the most amount of health and the melon item, I think that should be fine. Because the past few rounds, the blowfish has been able to do like four or five turns before it dies. Summon Bill. <laughs> I believe the fly does have the mushroom perk. Forty two, forty one dog. Seven out of ten. Also, oh, the game is like lagging more. <laughs> Imagine it crashes. Okay, thirteen coins. Pizzas, of course. One more spin. The monkey and blowfish are equally level two. Gonna get the sushi. And hmm. Increase the health of the monkey. And turn. Dang, the blowfish is at 4144. Oh my god. Maybe Blowfish is the build! 8 out of 10? Wait. Wait. I still genuinely am surprised we have not seen a scorpion in the front. The plan is simple. Blowfish. Chocolate. Chocolate. Level 3 blowfish, first time ever getting a level 3. Now it does 9 additional damage every time it's hit. Maybe scorpion isn't the meta? Maybe it's not the meta for me. It's not often, I'm just not realizing that I keep the swan this far into the game. So I think having the additional three gold, letting me buy an additional item, is helping a lot. Because before, I would sell the swan to get, like, the hippo. But the hippo is stupid. Please. Wow, 50 health! Ooh. 
Ooh, lucky. 46, 45 elephant. Nine out of ten. The past five rounds, I've had hot. I've only had one heart. The like most tense game of all day attempt number 10. Nine out of 10. This is it. One heart, nine trophies, turn 19. Pets can max have 50 attack and health. That makes sense. So that means for this turn, I should swap. I'll swap the peacock to the front, that way the peacock gains the plus four from the monkey. And also, if somehow there is a scorpion, it'll take out the peacock who has chili perk. I do not need mushroom. Pizza. Blowfish is maxed out. One reroll. I'm gonna reroll till I have six coins. There we go. The final item and pet mm -hmm. lineup. Apple is plus one, so it would be the peacock. Let's give plus one to the monkey. And peacock. The final turn. This could be the final game of the day. Attempt ten. Everybody, peace out to pray. Blowfish negated damage. Since they started with the hippo, if I had the blowfish in the start, it would have taken out the hippo. And I would have won that. But this was a really good build, surprisingly. You can't see it, but one trophy left. Man, that was my best run. Turn 19. Editor, don't put this one in the comp. Yeah, I need you to write down this build. This was a decent build. Maybe instead of the kangaroo, hippo. No, I said kangaroo is good because you get it very early on. Okay, monkey. Swan. Kangaroo. Blowfish. And peacock. I definitely think upgrading the monkey was good. Blowfish was also good. Because you get that... I think like turn seven. Swan was good. Yeah, this is still the best build we've had all day. Melon perks was very good. Attempt number 11. Dang. Ordinary fishes. I see stream hasn't ended. Yeah, hi, Mac. Also, Mac, do you know what's missing from your chat badges now? 
I beat the peace lock yesterday, bozo. I stay true to my word. No badge. For context, Mac taught me or told me how to get my GBA. And I said, thank you for helping you get VIP until I beat peace lock. And now, after five months, they no longer have the badge. I wasn't here. Why'd you take it? Oh. Because I wanted you to be like, oh my god, when you open chat. But don't worry, you'll get it back, Mac, one day. Don't worry. Also, can we get some yo's? I gave you months of content. <laughs> and you take the badge away. Just make a hate thread, Mac. <laughs> Shit, let's see. Nah, I know I know you're joking. Also, Mac, we're gonna I'm gonna mail your card tonight. I'm a hate watcher now? No! See, all the VPs become hate watchers inevitably. What is this game? Do you guys not watch Northern Lion? How does nobody know this game? You know what? We can just save my channel as an educational channel. You cannot be who megalolling Northern Lion. You cannot. Type 1 if you know who Northern Lion is. You guys should be ashamed. You know, I appreciate that you guys, like, watch and support small streamers, but you can't go walking around saying you don't know Northern Lion. Okay, bad roll. This is stupid. Freezing? Ooh, swan! Very good. Boing! I bet he's a really small streamer. Northern Lion gets like 10k playing this game. Otherwise, the stream category is dead usually. I checked it this morning and the category had like 40 viewers. So you know what? That means I'm in the top 10% for once. <laughs> I'm happy with this. You guys need to watch more larger streamers, but still, like, watch my stream. <laughs> they have shower caps. <laughs> Ooh, lucky! Three turns in and still no loss? Wait. Okay, I'm getting really bad RNG for the pets. Genuinely, really bad. Wow, Beaver, you fucking suck. Nothing good. I've been playing this game for three hours straight. And I'm, I'm not even kidding. I played for like an hour and a half before stream to warm up, but I played a different pack. I did the wacky pack. Because the wacky pack is more fun. Oh. I should not put that guy in the front. I missed a summon there. Maybe it's a pack that's the issue. Partially, it's just kind of like I forgot how to play this pack. Because I've been playing the wacky pack. I, in preparation of today's stream, I haven't played this pack in a week. So, like, I kind of forgot the meta. <laughs> and apparently the meta is still summons! L summon build.
good RNG. I'm sorry if I'm not, like, commentating too much. It's because, like, I know today's stream is gonna be an edit. And having edit- having edit- ha When editing your own streams, you get, like, a lot more insight into, like, what- huh, Will be kept in and what will be cut out. So, like- that's why, like, I'm not yapping every two seconds. It makes editing easier. Upgrading the swan. The penguin could be interesting. I usually don't do penguin. At the end of every turn, give two level two or higher friends plus one attack or plus one health. This could be interesting. The penguin can act as our temporary monkey for now. I literally never play with the penguin. Because usually at this point, I don't have like high enough level Pokemon or pets. But the moment we see a blowfish, we're buying it. Yup. Plus one. Blowfish is now in action. Turn seven. I'm not keeping the worm. No, I I'll still keep it in roster. If I get the blowfish, I'd probably get rid of the worm. I should not have bought that worm. That was dumb. I mean, do you, um... End turn. Uh, my roommate texted me. W! Okay, the game isn't like timed or anything, but I'm gonna pause my live split. I gotta grab something from the door real quick. Anyway, guys, emote only chat for like two minutes. Put your favorite emote in chat. Mine is peace I to... No way. I'll be right back. Also, remind me to unmute if I forget.
You guys are free. Also, Max and Sierra in chat today. Do you have any ideas for the subathon tomorrow? We're back in. What do I plan on doing? Oh, wait, I did them on stream the other day. One second. Getting rid of the worm. Blowfish is in. I did him on stream the other day. It's the, will you press the button bod? I should have made a post on Twitter too. But if you have any suggestions, Mac, you can DM me, tell me in chat, or leave a reply on that Twitter post. The main theme is playing games that I used to play on stream. So Stardew Valley, Fall Guys, Odyssey. There was a few other arts and crafty stuff people wanted to do. I'm not going to do Dress to Impress because I don't know how to do Roblox. I'll be honest, I don't know where my Animal Crossing cartridge is. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> because it's a 30 hour cap, so if it does go through the night, we're gonna be playing um, peace and YouTube videos all night long. Okay, I lost this round. I've said this before, but the reason why I haven't played Roblox's stream on stream yet is because, like, I don't want kids watching. Like, I'm fine with, like, teenagers because, like, that's what Twitch is supposed to be, but, like, I don't want kids watching. Because kids are annoying. Let's see, I got 12 coins. Should I do a scorpion build? No, I- No, maybe- No. I need a monkey. Two chocolates! Redeeming one for the blowfish now so I have like an extra spot for the item queue? Bad. Wait, okay. Going to redeem the chocolate instead of purchasing a blowfish. That way I have more item slots available next turn. Because I only have two hearts left. Oh my god, three trophies? This run is so bad! I need a monkey. I think I fumbled by putting the blowfish in the back. It should be in the front. Okay, the, the game is genuinely lagging more. <laughs> I've never played for this long. Go try this formation now. Garlic to the pufferfish. We'll see. This is my last heart. I don't feel too confident right now.
I lived. Turn 11. This is gonna be a grueling battle. Turn 11. You know what else is agonizing? Ads. Because guys... We're four hours in. This was supposed to be a short stream. I have to edit this week's video today. Guys, subscribe right now. I'm literally a dollar away from my Twitch bailout. Can we get a Prime sub right now? Anyway, if you don't want to see that, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee. And get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free subscription available. Get boomed. You're back to work. Dude, I'm gonna have to edit this stream next week. It's gonna be hell. Chili! Reroll. I'd rather give two random pets more health. And of course, I went to the highest health pets. Cool. Enter. I don't- yeah, I don't have Mario Maker. But I, I kind of want to avoid doing concepts and- why do you put the dog in the front? This guy's so dumb. I want to avoid doing screen concepts that have, like, viewer interaction. Because then if I don't have active chatters, or if people don't submit, then it's kind of boring. I, I will do Mario Maker on stream at some point. Just probably not tomorrow. <laughs> Five trophies halfway there. It's just like attempt number ten. Nine coins left. Let's buy the kangaroo to upgrade it. And the pufferfish. Now, who do I give the bear to? Peacock. Enter. I have to live. I have to live. I have to live. You put the shark in the front? Dumbass. Kill the dog. Kill the dog. In game, of course. Sorry. What I've noticed is those who do a summon heavy build do not use the scorpion. Six out of ten. So putting the blowfish in the start is good because it's tanking and then it also does damage. Melon perk. Yes. I don't think I need the mushroom. Yeah, the mushroom ain't worth. Steak.com to the kangaroo. Two more spins. Freeze the chocolate. Freeze the chocolate and then upgrade the blowfish normally. Now it's a level three, does nine additional damage. Next turn, we'll give the chocolate to the peacock, melon to the swan. Yeah, if we do Mario Maker on stream, I'm not doing viewers levels, because legitimately, the only people who watch Mario Maker streams want to see people get angry, and then also they want to see the streamer play their level. It's like really annoying. Summon It's always turn 13! Oh my god, new skin!
What does it mean when you have linked animals in the shop? Oh, so the ones in the, like, the bottom left. So those linked animals pop up whenever you level up a pet. But you can only choose one of those linked pets. That's why they have that little illustration below it. God damn it. Chap 12. Dude. Offensive cuties. Wait, that's like the movie. Aggressive muffins. Um, editor, just cut to when I beat this stupid challenge. And then put the five hours later. Transition card. I lost. Do this so bad! I'm getting angry. Dude, today was supposed to be a short stream. Because I know tomorrow is going to be a long day. Oh. I'm going to cry. Get your reblade. We'll give the apple to the mosquito. And we'll sell everybody else first. I should stop doing like... Seemingly impossible challenges on stream. I still haven't beaten Lucia. W. Huge. Give me a peacock right away, or I'm quitting this game. Oh my god, he listened! <laughs> And Swan! Wait, th they really don't might want me to quit this game. And a kangaroo? Wow. Come on, Beaver, give this to the peacock and the swan. Okay, he kind of listened there. This could be a W run, guys. Red attempt number 12. Dink it. Selling the mosquito so I can get an additional swan. Next turn, the peacock will be leveled up. My camera's flipped today. I think the penguin was a good strat last time. To think that I could do this in an hour.
Silly putting your cricket in the start, silly. No, how do I at least do a summon build? They should, like, let me get a glowfish on the first turn. That would be epic. This is a bad build this guy has. Genuinely. Dang, 46 peacock! Plus two. Blowfish is now available! I'm not taking the hippo. I just need to survive. I'm gonna give the kangaroo plus three temp. Freeze this for next turn. And then maybe next turn I'll get a blowfish. Surely. more devastating whenever you get two losses in a row. Like, if I go loss, win, loss, win, I feel fine. The two worms are very tempting, but I'm not going to waste six coins on that. Really is tempting me. One more roll? This sucks. <laughs> Cupcake to It's turn eight, so that means Blowfish is in turn, and I think the scorpion is in turn. Cupcake to the kangaroo. That way if the peacock dies, oh well. Ten. Oh, turn nine. Monkey and scorpion are in play now. Monkey. Okay. I'm gonna swap the worm for the monkey. <laughs> Freeze the chocolate, give the apple to the kangaroo, and respin. Yep, I'm happy with this. Because now I have the penguin and monkey, which will give me extra hearts every turn. Build, like, make a good one. 
Not to be, like, egotistical, but I think my builds... Like, I know what I need to get. See, 12 coins. Five different items to purchase, so I can only choose four. I'm going to upgrade the kangaroo. And then... Not redeem the chocolate this round, because nobody's close to leveling. Are you getting Twitch notice on every stream? Like, what do you mean? Like, me? Or do I receive notice? I have all goal -like notifications turned off for all channels that I follow. Oh, the drops, yes. If you're watching on desktop, if you click the drop-down arrow, you can click dismiss the message. Like, oh my god, if you tier one, you get free Apple Plus? Ain't no way. Guys, subscribe right now. But yeah, you can disable that pop-up if you just click the drop-down arrow and then don't show anymore. But that's only on desktop, I think. Anyway, six coins left. Buy the swan so that we have more slots later. Save the chocolate. For next time. Give the pear to the kangaroo. What about tomorrow? When I did it on desktop, it said hide forever or something. Why don't you give subs to an indie streamer? Like, don't you want to support local business? Summon build how cringe and they have they have honey. That dog's gonna become so powerful. They're such a hack. No, but if I had a summon build, this is literally what I would do. Literally. Five trophies, one heart. Back here again. Still no blowfish. Melon perk to the peacock. Chocolate perk to the swan because it's at level three. No good pets. That means I only get one more purchase for this turn. Pizza, two random pets get plus two. Salad, two pets get plus one. Pizza's better. Okay, well, we'll see. This could be the final turn. Yeah, I can gift a sub to myself. I do that all the time. Remember, it goes to random chatters. Okay, this could be the end. Imagine this is the actual final run. Offensive build, okay. Yes! I still got it. 6 out of 10. I can't believe you one-shotted the Elite Four. Dude, I know for real. I was con- Blowfish! <gasps> okay. This is, like, not the opportune time to get the Blowfish, though. The alligator is only good if you want to like try to combat a uh, summon build where they put the shark or the dog in the last position. <sighs> Selling the penguin. Freezing blowfish. The skunk removes 33% health from the highest health having enemy. What am I fighting the top row? Oh, no, no, no. This is my team on the top. 
between every turn you can buy different pets and food so i'm getting ready for my potential last turn yeah either way i have to blow buy the blowfish i'm going to give it the onion perk or the garlic perk i have eight coins left that means i can make two more purchases not good not good Salad bowl. In case somebody has a scorpion build. Blowfish in the front. Because the blowfish will get plus two anyway. We'll give it the apple. It really does suck that I didn't get the blowfish earlier. Combat build, or not combat build, offensive build. Seven out of ten. I need to win the next three matches. This could be possible. I just need healing items. Mushroom perk could be good. Nine coins left. Five coins left, two more spins. Why am I saying spins? <laughs> Okay. I could give the mushroom perk to the blowfish. That way it has like an extra attempt. But it might not be worth. I'll hold on to it. No, actually I won't. I need more healing items the next turn, so I'm going to unfreeze it. Pizza. W! Okay. That was like the best outcome. It gave the pizza to my lowest health enemies. Normally, the any healing item that says random is just pure random. End turn. Whew. Summon build partial. The whale does have the chili perk, unfortunately. No, it's over. Another turn 13. This one would have been fine if I got the blowfish. Literally, maybe even three turns prior. Guys, it's a subathon. The stream is never ending. New game. Aggressive millionaires. <laughs> Sorry, the typo. I feel like there's a little bit of something there. <laughs> you know, I can only assume they're not voting blue.
I'll take a draw. Oh, why'd I freeze the pig? Blue kangaroos? Is this a roguelike? Yes, we've determined earlier. Yeah, you lose everything every attempt. I'm locked in. Oh, I'm broke. <laughs> okay, not a good formation, but it's it's what I can do. Yeah, this game is free to play. Hashtag not sponsored. L summon build. Give me a peacock, please. Thank you. Almost at four hours, dude. <laughs> I hate this game now. You're not supposed to play this game for this long. Selling the ant first because I gave the honey perk to the mosquito. Don't want to waste it. Exactly four hours. <laughs> Only three pets? Imagine. They're making their fish the tank. annoying yeah bring a pinchy to the elite four you look like an idiot giraffe giraffe There are people who be in the Elite Four with only magic harps? Wait, what? That's wild! I I assume you have to like bring only heals. Oh wow, another guy making a tank fish! Stupid, stupid, stupid. This game, not me. One heart left.
If I win on this attempt, it'll be a literal miracle. I've never done this bad. But I've also never faced two ten-powered fish in a row. Oh wait, I might have this one. I can stop complaining now. Yay, one trophy! I'm not getting the hippo. I'm not. I refuse. I have nine coins. I'm gonna reroll. Yeah, I can only buy two things. Crossing my fingers and my toes that I win. Guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream. If you're new here, click follow, please. I need it. Oh, I can maybe win this. Yeah, I'll take up the opponent's peacock. Oh yeah, I got this. Yup, guys, follow for more clutch W's like that. <laughs> We've already gotten one follower. Can we get four more to hit our daily goal? Can we do it? Stream ends when I beat this stupid game. Should I go back to a scorpion build? No, I shouldn't. Blow oh, Yes! Okay, okay, okay. We're getting rid of the worm. Stupid worm. Blowfish is now in. This could be a crazy build. Nope. Level up the kangaroo. Yes. Yeah, this should be fine. The best I can do. L summon build, L, L, L. Ain't no way. This is the run. I have enough to get two purchases. Sushi? Peacock. They have a hippo. Imagine getting three horses at spawn. Not my ideal starting lineup, but not much else. Sizzling sausages. Like hot dogs. Huge. Give me another one.
Ottering beavers suck? No, I like getting the beaver because when I sell it, then it gives the plus one attack to random friends. I kind of like that. Can you get multiple blowfish? Yes, I can. But by the time that the blowfish appears, I usually have my party filled. That's why I usually will try to have like multiple swans or worms in the party. That way I can buy more items later. Why not? Why not? Partial summon build. Guys, I promise I'm like decent at the game. It's just like, I feel really nervous on camera sometimes. <laughs> no! That's fine, I'll gain the heart back. Todo está bien. Give me a peacock or I'm never playing again. <laughs> Not again! Also, chat, I'm sorry. My roommate got another package. You know the drill. Put your little pictures in chat. I'll be right back. There were like five boxes. Jeez. Usually my sister will get the door, but she has like a zoom. She's in a zoom call right now. <laughs> I open the door. There's five boxes. I'm just like, dude. My roommate must like hate the earth or something. He never opts in for like the same package when he orders on Amazon. 
Five boxes! SMH. Okay, we're back in. Oh. oh, yeah, it's only turn three. I did not forget the live split, don't worry. Hmm. Sell the pigeon. Save it. Oh, I should not have sold there. That was dumb. Because now I have an empty slot. Uh-oh. I got to buy happy. Oh, cancel. Oh, yeah, I didn't re-roll. Yeah, if you try to end your turn before spending all your coins, it asks you, are you sure? That way... Because the... My strat is, is I will keep rolling until I run out of coins. Summon build! It's okay. I'll get a win at some point. Don't worry, this run is the run. Get your you were here copy pastas ready, guys. W. Now I just need eight more in a row and I'll be happy. No, but like, what if this actually is the run? Okay, I like all these items. I will not respin. Or reroll. Wait, isn't reroll an emo? Yeah, it is. <laughs> L build. That's three. I feel good. Six coins. Upgrading the swan first, that way next turn I'll get an additional coin. No hippo build. Hippo stupid. End turn. And guys, don't you worry, there will be a pop quiz at the end on your super auto pets knowledge. For anybody who gets 100, you'll get a high five. Monka. Let's go. I'll take a draw. Yeah, I used to do the hippos and the builds all the time, but now it's not worth it because they patched it. It's no longer hacky. So now it's not worth it. Okay. 
Blowfish is now in play. One more roll. I'll just use these items now. Don't want to waste. Give me a dub. If I lose this turn, I'm never playing again. There's no way I lose this. Okay, wait, maybe I might. <laughs> no, there's no way I lose this. Have I ever done a rabbit build? I did do a few where, like, I think I did one earlier today where I had, like, a rabbit in the back, and, like, that was good. But I feel like a rabbit build is only really effective if you get the rabbit early on. When you are, like, giving more food items to your pets. Surely if this attempt doesn't work, then maybe I'll do rabbit again. But I haven't had a rabbit spawn yet in this attempt. I think that's the problem. We're already on turn 8. It's kind of late to get a rabbit. Okay, 13 coins. This right here is 11. One more reroll. Nothing good. In turn. I think my strat of making one pet tanky is working. And this is also the strat that worked when I played offline. Like either making my hippo or my peacock have an insane amount of health. That way you could just tank every single hit basically. Yes sir, look at that. Wait, this could be the run. Five out of ten? Wait, believers? Chili for the peacock, of course. Gimme blow shit. Oh, sorry, blowfish. <laughs> no. Since we have not got a blowfish, I am considering getting the scorpion. Also, this is the first time seeing a rabbit today, or on this attempt. We are getting the scorpion. And give two random pets plus one or three. Give three. Plus one. And turn. I still have four hearts left, surprisingly. This wait, this could actually be a good attempt. Yes, I'm taking out their peacock! <laughs> it's over for them! Take this L! Okay, now it's over. Take the L. Wait! This is really good. Four trophies left, four hearts left. Wait, genuinely really good run. Please be it, please! I. This needs to be over. It's already 3 p.m! Eight coins, that means I can buy three things. One more reroll. Another chili. Exactly who I wanted it to go to. Okay. Taking out their camel who had 20 health, very good. No, the dolphin took out the dolphin took out the scorpion. That's the worst. That's why you have to build the health on the scorpion. Dude, no! I literally have to win every single game now.
Let's see, six coins left. I don't want to reroll. Let's purchase the peacock to make it more tanky. It could be worth to give more health to the scorpion. I'm surprised I haven't had a monkey hit. Because I usually put monkey in the back and then scorpion front. That way every single turn the scorpion gradually gets more health. But no monkey yet. I still believe in this run. <gasps> Wait! The scorpion will live! Watch this! Fuck! I still won, Bozo. Holy... Three hearts, three trophies left. Scorpions with melons are available? No, if you give... If you give a food perk to the scorpion, it loses the peanut perk. Because when you purchase the scorpion, it, it eats a peanut and then it gains that perk. It's not innate that the scorpion will always have a peanut no matter what food you give it. So you cannot give any food perk to a scorpion. Or maybe that was patched out recently. That's In the past two and a half weeks, that's how it's been for me. I have 12 coins. This costs three... Six, nine, eleven. Chocolate to the peacock, the way it levels up. It's now gaining nine attack. Nine coins left. Let's just buy all these. Debating on if I should give the apple to the scorpion or the kangaroo. I'm thinking kangaroo. I don't want to risk it. One more reroll. Ooh, melon! I'll freeze the melon for next turn. Increase the base stats for kangaroo. End turn. I have faith, trust, and pixie dust. That means I can afford to lose one. This is... No good pets. I feel... I should give Melon to the swan for now, just so they're safe. Apple to the peacock. Seven coins left, that means one reroll. Two heal items, or two health items. Very good, exactly what I want. One one to the scorpion, very good. Okay, this is decent. This is very good. End turn. And they opened with a 24 health elephant. Uh-oh. Took out their blowfish. Draw! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We just stalled out a turn. That's fine. Dude, I need this win. I need this. Desperately. Nine coins left. That means at most, I can buy two more things. More health to the peacock. She's gonna tank. Mushroom perk? Kinda lame. None of these pets are good for the mushroom perk. No, look. Watch this. If I give the scorpion the mushroom, it removes the peanut. So, yeah... When it respawns, it will have a peanut again, but it's pointless. It's pointless. It's just stalling for one turn. 
I guess it's not totally pointless, but it's not really worth IMO. You know what? I don't want to reroll. Let's just give the garlic perk to the worm. The peacock is fully upgraded. I forgot. Well, that was dumb. I wasted coins. God damn it. Okay, end turn. We'll see how this goes. I have three hearts left, two trophies away. saw the parrot it was turkey parrot and dog that would have been hard to face with any build oh man oh. eight trophies two hearts left this has to be a win ten left re-roll Saving this one for next turn, getting the two random health increases. Whew. Switching positions for the swan, because if the opponent has a crocodile, the swan will live. End turn. Give me a dub, it's turn 15. This needs to be over soon. Boar cooked me. Twelve coins left. One re roll. Swan, Scorpion, Salad. I think that's the best I can do. I'll keep the swan where it is. Let me win! Do not give me summon build! Summon build. Dude, you're such a hack! You know this is like so stupid? It's such a hacky way to play. Turn 16. They're not cheating, but like this is how you min max a summon build. It's like the actual meta. You know what? I should get brownie points for like not doing the hack meta. And you know what else? I should get subscriptions cuz guys, we're 5 fucking hours in the stream. Five hours! Guys, subscribe. I need it. Six dollars. Or free if you have a prime. Also, I got so anxious I picked a scab. I gotta go wipe it. Okay. This legit was supposed to be a two hour stream. And it's been five hours.
I am not happy right now. You know who else is not happy? The non-subs. <laughs> Rude rings. That last attempt was genuinely looking so good. I'll take a draw. This is good. I now have three ants. I like this. You know what else I like? <laughs> oh my god, duck build. Draws are fine. As long as I don't lose, I don't need more detriment to my mental. Give me a peacock right now. Wait, uh, kangaroo's good. Peacock! And swan? W. I need money. Reroll. Two swans? Yo, huge. Wait, this guy's doing my money. He's got two worms. First W on this attempt. Something that I think I'm gonna try is no more worms. I think just having majority swans, because the issue I've been noticing since I've been having both swans and worms is that I have too many low HP, low attack pets. So no more worms. Swan is the meta. Reroll. I still have faith, trust, and pixie dust. And my super auto pet skills. This is the run. We're gonna beat this within five hours. And by we, I mean me. Okay, not this round. <laughs> you know, I'm getting tired when I'm like actually sitting in my seat properly laid back. Nope, no penguin. I don't want it. Rabbit? I want the rabbit. Every time somebody eats food, they get an additional heart. That's actually huge. Watch this. Wait. Oh, they didn't- they ha- it wasn't food. <laughs> Watch this. Plus one.
Yup. I got this in the bag. I cannot wait to see the confetti when I win this attempt. Last reroll. Nice. And turn. I believe. Dude, I titled the video, video ends when I beat Super Auto Pets, six hour video. Who would watch it? <laughs> Now this is gonna be like a 30 minute highlight minimum. W. Blowfish is now in action. The worm is tempting me. I'm gonna choose the salad bowl, that way we increase it this turn. Yes, sir? Wait, rabbit build? Kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever won with a rabbit on my team. I usually sell it before I get to the very end. Four trophies? Twelve coins, so that means I can buy three things. L turkey. I can maybe try deer this run. Mmm. I think I'll try it. Because now that Scorpion will be in play soon, I need something to combat it. Yes, this is good. Oh, they also have a deer. That's okay. You can't win every single round. Give me monkey. I have 12 coins. I might as well just buy one of everything right now. I still believe. Yeah, I know this game doesn't have, like, too many, like, normal sound effects. I know I got thrown off, too, when I heard the honking. So lucky they have a blowfish. But you know what they're gonna lose? <laughs> Look at that. Five out of ten trophies. Halfway through, still three hearts left. This is doable. This is the run! Wait, Scorpion. Screw the deer, I want Scorpion. Oh, 
I'll freeze the rabbit. If we get another rabbit, we'll upgrade. One more reroll. Blowfish! I want to get rid of the rabbit or the swan, but I don't know which one. I think money's more valuable at this point. But then getting an extra plus one health is good, too. I'm going to try something crazy. Selling the swan. For this turn, since nobody's close to leveling up, I'll give the cupcake to the blowfish. There we go. Trying something completely new. Got rid of the swan. I put the blowfish in second position in anticipation their first Q would have a chili, which that one did. Dude, summon builds! Ha! <laughs> I still won! So annoying. 6 out of 10. Experience to the blowfish? Blowfish. Blowfish. In turn. I believe, I believe, I believe. <gasps> they had a 35 worm! <laughs> Imagine making a worm your tank. <laughs> and their hedgehogs just killed their entire team. That's seven! Let's go! This is it. This is it. Mushroom could be good for blowfish. You know what? I'll do it now, since we're close to endgame. Because if we can spawn another blowfish, that's another turn and then another 6 damage. Or no, other, another 3 damage, because it comes back as a 1-1. One, one. Ooh, the steak. Plus 20 damage once. Three hearts, three trophies away. I'm gonna give this to the kangaroo. Three coins left. I'll give the mushroom to the peacock. And if we get like a chili next turn, then we'll, we'll just swap them out, it's whatever. I just wanna stay alive. <gasps> they had a 29 puffer fish, you dumbass bitch! Nobody is doing scorpion then anymore! Eight out of ten. Three hearts left. We've been here before. But this is totally doable.
This is doable. Do you like chili? I love chili. And my chili from scratch is so good. Pizza. Freeze the apple. Reroll. Going with the theme of staying alive? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> staying alive. We'll give the rabbit the mushroom. And this apple. Apple. Two blowfish. This is a pretty solid team. Two more! Not 22 camel! One trophy left, three hearts remaining, four hours and 45 minutes into this. Watch this. Rabbit, chocolate, it levels up. Now, anybody who eats food gets plus two health. Freeze the sushi, reroll. Now we get the monkey. Well... I'm still gonna freeze. I'm still gonna freeze the scorpion. Not gonna freeze the monkey, cause we're either gonna beat this in one to three turns. Sushi. Watch this. Everybody's gonna get plus two. Yes. Yes. This could be it. Please, please, please. Do not be summoned. Do not be summoned. This is my work. They have a 30 blowfish, though. Uh, I don't know. This one's gonna be close. No, it's over! It's over! It's over! Oh my god! It's done! It's done! 446-38, turn 14. Winning team, rabbit, kangaroo, peacock, blowfish, and scorpion. Screenshot. Look at that. Finally, you guys were here. Oh my god. Also, thank you to Zayo for telling me to do a rabbit build. I tried one earlier, and you know what? This time it worked. Let's go! 446! <laughs> I wanted this to take two hours! Two hours! It's already 3.45 p.m. I have to make dinner. Ooh, I was gonna make Alfredo tonight. That was the plan. Or like a lemon. No, I was gonna make lemon pasta. Okay, well. I would like to thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you think your build is better than mine? <laughs> if you enjoyed this, you can watch me play games live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. Thank you for watching. As we all know now, I am the Super Auto Pets Pro. Maybe we'll do a stream where we play against viewers, but this was a lot. 446? That's crazy. Like, genuinely. I, I went into this thinking it would take maximum two hours. Because that's usually how long it takes me to get a win when I play offline. Like, I'll play for like 30 minutes to an hour and I'll win. And then I'll play maybe sometimes in the evening and I'll get a win then. But dude, 446. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to everybody who watched the whole thing. And if you're watching the highlight, uh, just watch live. Thank you. Hope it doesn't affect your psyche too much. Wait, I actually need to screenshot this. What I do is... Look at this. First daily win plus 50. And then if you go to menu... And then history. You can look at your replays to see your actual teams. And then it saves, I think, your your most recent, like, 20 games. Wait, what attempt was it? Was it really attempt 15? 
Yeah, attempt 15. My goal was 10. <laughs> yeah. So what was the last one I got? Shit. I thought I got a win the other day. Ooh, look. Nine trophies. Super close. That was earlier. Yeah, okay. I need to screenshot this. The Rude Rings. I'm editor. Put this screenshot on screen. Okay, well, everybody, that was super auto pits. Maybe we'll play this again another day. It depends on how I feel. <laughs> I think I think I've had enough super auto pits for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um guys I'm ending stream oh wait we had calligraphy we had somebody redeem we get to do calligraphy really 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 quick also I'm literally one dollar away from my twitch payout can we get one prime sub otherwise I have to wait till September to get my money Also, just a reminder, if you're new here, click follow if you like what you see. And if you are following, make sure notifications are turned on. And I am doing a subathon for my three-year stream anniversary tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. PST. So if you don't want to miss it, um, follow. Yeah, don't worry about it, Tooth. Don't worry. Also, I'll be able to mail your cards either tonight or tomorrow. Dude, I'm not going to get to mail shit today because stream went longer. Fuck. That's annoying. Okay, let's close this out and get some real music on. <laughs> Nintendo cheerful music. Are you- are you totally sure with me not sending it to you, Tooth? Because what we can do is I can hold on to those cards. Like, whenever you're fully comfortable receiving them, I can send them to you. Because I'd rather you get them at some point. And, like... Oh, wait! I saw the election news about your country! I forgot! Wait, actually, maybe I should not mail it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you're okay. I totally forgot. I saw the headline the other day. Just make sure you guys don't do a January 6th, okay? Or at least, do you want to see your cards, Tooth? I didn't pack them yet. The capital right now is very bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Here are your cards. They're real. I made them for you. And they do have the signature on the back. It's flipped. Whenever I can mail these to you and you feel totally comfortable, I'll mail them. You know, I don't want to give it to some other sucker. <laughs> but yeah, these are for you. Don't worry. Because, <laughs> like, I totally forgot about the recent news. <laughs> Yeah, the signature is a stamp. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm getting the camera set up. Okay, I can't show feet. Oh my god, there's two of me. Okay, wait, I need to hide it.
The problem is my tripod is shit. Okay, I'm moving my feet away. <laughs> There! It's because yesterday I accidentally kicked it. I need to put, like, tape on the floor to mark where it should be. Okay. Guys, use your channel points and I'll write your name. I'm not even kidding. I'm starting to believe the second you is a running joke. It partially is, but the... Since this camera does not use a capture card, it doesn't, like, automatically connect to OBS when I plug it in. So in order for me to connect it, I have to select a different video source and then the correct camera. So that's why, like, I will select my capture card source and then switch to the second camera. It's weird. It would be fine if I had a second capture card, then it would automatically connect. You know, OBS is great. But there are still some things that can be improved. Wait, I need to say, guys. Tomorrow is the subathon. If you have any last minute ideas, or if you want to is or or if you want an ink portrait drawn, reply on my Twitter, pinned at the top of chat. Right now, we have no replies. <laughs> Uh. Super Mario RPG. Oh, I was wondering my, why my, I changed my settings yesterday on the camera. There we go, because I was teaching my roommate how to use it last night. I changed the ISO. Guys, who's going to watch the subathon tomorrow? Type 1. Who hopes it'll go till Friday? Type one. <laughs> I don't. If the subathon actually goes to the 30 hour cap, I'm gonna be a millionaire. No, I won't. It would be like $200. Which will buy a third of the plane ticket. We still don't know when we're going. But that's why I'm trying to stream more now. That way, like, I have my stream hours up and then also, like, enough YouTube content. Aren't there boat trips there? If you take a boat, it would take, like, two days. Like, it's not it's not really worth. Because I'm going from Washington State, which is the west coast, north of America. Even taking a boat from California, which is the southern west coast, it would take a while. Because even the one-way flight is six hours. Booze cruise in between? No, for real. I do want to take a cruise at some point, but the, the thing with taking a cruise to Hawaii is that it's minimum like two to three days at sea, like before you reach a port. So it's kind of like not worth. You might as well, because I know they have cruise lines that go between the different Hawaiian islands. I kind of want to do that at some point. So, like, I, w I would just fly to Hawaii, stay with family for a while, and then 
do like the island cruises but that's only when i have money money and like that's when i like hate the environment Do we have anybody else who wants their name written? Use your channel points and I'll write your name right now. Or if you subscribe, I'll also write your name. Go rest and cook and do stuff, yeah. Dude, I have so much shit to do. <laughs> I have to cook because since I could potentially be streaming all day tomorrow, I have to cook for today, Thursday, and Friday's meal prep. And then I also have to edit this YouTube this week's YouTube video tonight because I honestly don't know how long the subathon will go for. Um, I can probably pull up the notepad again. I'm down to stream for like 10 more minutes just to go over what we're doing again. Or if anybody else has any other suggestions. Where is it? Here it is, just to go over it again. 30 hour cap starts Thursday. Minimum timer is 3 hours and it can run till Friday afternoon 4pm. Subs, 10 minutes. Tier 1s and Prime's worth an extra minute. And then Tier 2s and Tier 3s are worth a different point by default. 100 bits equals 2 minutes. Cash up donos equals 1 minute per dollar. Because, like, the reason why it's that ratio is because 100 bits is a dollar for me. So I'm, I want people to do bits instead of direct cash up. And then every 5 gifted equals a... A wheel spin that can change the value from 10 minutes to 1, 5, 17, or 21. Activities playing old games. So Mario Kart, Stardew Valley, Odyssey, Fall Guys. I was... I might save Odyssey for a different day. Because whenever I played Super Mario Odyssey on stream, the music would get copywritten. And I do not want a potentially 30-hour VOD to get not monetized. For bits, for every 100 bits cheered, I get a penny per bit, but then the consumer, so like the viewer, usually 100 bits cost you, the consumer, 120 to 140 cents. So the viewer pays a premium, but I still get one penny for every bit cheer. <clears throat> um, viewer ink portraits, if I don't get any submissions, I'll just draw a friend. We are not doing the Lucia run. Uh-uh, I'm not setting up the Wii. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to time myself out. We'll continue the Lucia run on a different day. I'm totally down to do... I reset if I don't get first for every five gifted equals reset. I'm totally down. I kind of want to save the MS Paint stream for a different day because I feel like that'd be a lot better because that obviously would be a YouTube highlight video. I feel like this would be good if I, like, set aside three hours to stream this in its own stream. That way I can give it the full attention that I feel like that concept deserves. Chat ideas. Drawing challenge. We can still do that. Chess, in general, with viewers, too. Dress to impress? I don't know. I don't know. I'm an indie streamer. I don't play mainstream games. Pictionary? Yes. Donators suggest song to sing? We can maybe do that. I was going to change chat orders of pizza for me, because we did this already. I was going to do a wheel decides my pizza topping. So, like, we make a wheel with all the different mod toppings, and then we spin the wheel. And then another thought I had was on the wheel, we could do like a different ratio of good versus bad toppings. So people can use the prediction function to either put more points into good topping or more points into bad topping. So it's not like you guys would choose specific toppings. It would be like the percentage of me getting a good or bad topping. We'll discuss it tomorrow. And then if the stream does go into nighttime, then we're playing YouTube videos. Oh yeah, and then the top donor day gets a special art piece for me, smile. 
Yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow. I'll think of more activities tonight because we would have potentially 22 hours to fill because I usually sleep for like seven to eight hours. So yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. Starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. Make sure you're watching. Because it will be my three-year anniversary stream, smile. Three years with Chad. Guys, I'm tired. We're going to wrap here for today. Thank you all for watching. If you watched the whole thing, thanks for bearing with me. It took way too long. <laughs> but you know what? I didn't quit, and I did it. So, if you're new here, follow. Easy. If you're not new here, new YouTube video. It's a highlight of the chest stream. Go watch it now. It's doing really well. Go like it. Go leave a comment. And if you aren't already, make sure you at least subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free and you get weekly stream highlights. Wow. So if you miss a stream, there might be an edit out soon. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10. Like I said, if you have any more last minute ideas, submit them on my Twitter. On those posts. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10. I might be live like a little bit early, like maybe 9.45. But the timer does not start till 10. Okay, goodbye, 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 goodbye. I'm tired. Goodbye. Bye, too. Thanks for hanging out. You were here the whole stream. You know, I'll say it. Are you a mega fan? Or I'll ask it. Are you a mega fan? Do, 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 do. I'm a robot. Mega Man X. <gasps> Wait, hi, Alex. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait. Class, you're coming in at the end. But hi, Alex. Wait, let me see how close I am to a Twitch payout. Because I might just gift chat a sub because I need that $50. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. I'm literally 90 cents away! I give you a tier 1 sub? Dude, I was gonna give you one for free. <laughs> but let's go! Wait, face cam on? I have to hide the group so I don't leak my card. W! I will gift you a sub right now. Thanks for redeeming with your channel points. I was waiting. Gift a sub. Minus $5.99. Processing. Ain't no way! Thank you, Peason underscore 17, for the gifted sub. Oh my god! Thank you for redeeming, Tooth. Enjoy the emotes. Let's go. Plus one. <laughs> Wait, but now I get my Twitch payout. Yay! This is not fraud. <laughs> okay, but thanks for redeeming, Tooth. No way! <laughs> Okay, you best use the emotes. I worked very hard to get that $5.99. Damn, it's $6.61 after taxes. I'm so sorry that Twitch increased the prices, y'all. That's why, like, I don't give a shit if it's a Prime sub. I'll take it. If it'll save you money, take it. Or do it. Yeah, can we get some Weesons, guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna go get some work done. I will see you all tomorrow, bright and early. The subathon starts at 10 a.m., but we will start the stream, like, at 9.45. The plan is simple, boys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Super Auto Pets. Maybe we'll play it again. I don't know. I, I, I think I'll just keep it an off-stream game. It's hard to commentate. Like I said, new YouTube video. Go click the link. Go watch now. Make sure you at least subscribe to the main channel, YouTube. New videos out every Saturday. I'm almost at a year of weekly uploads. It'll be... Wait, when did I... It's on my YouTube channel. It's literally almost been a year of weekly uploads. August 26th. Oh, I got three more weeks. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for all your support. Once again, thank you to Zayo for the follow today. Thanks. Don't worry, we'll play Super Auto Pets again. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. Okay, wait, is it?